Hey everybody, welcome back to PSR Marathon. I'm T Pat, and we have the finale for you here, Legends Arceus Any Percent. Uh, an absolutely fun game, and don't let any of my commentators tell you otherwise, because I definitely wasn't complaining about this just a minute ago in practice when I was catching beautifies in practice and not in real attempts prior. Uh, again, my name is T Pat, been doing lots of the newer Pokemon games. And with me, I have special guest, the one and only, and world record holder, Halkery. Hello. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm excited. I love this game. Are you sure? I haven't played it at all today, and I'm tweaking. <laughs> Excellent. Well, let's not waste any more time. We are going to get into it. So let's count down in three, two, one, go. OK. And we're so, getting isekai'd, woo! <laughs> so, Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, is a if you game. haven't played it, it's a bit different from any of the other entries in the main sure series, is. at least, because uh -huh. it usually gets written off as a spin-off, but as far it's not as the, a spin-off. No, it's designated as a main series game. Um, in but fact, it doesn't have that is why I'm pressure. playing it, <laughs> because I only play main series games, and yeah. I'm playing Arceus, so... Main series game. There you go. Case closed. Yeah, so um, this game has a very different progression system. Like, throughout the marathon, you've seen, like, beat the gym leaders, get, you know, fight the E4, fight the champion. Catch and a lot of Pokemon. Uh, you know, unrelated, but it's usually catch one thing and juice it up and just sweep everything. Um, none of yeah, that Yeah, the battles are jank in this game. <laughs> none of that applies here. So yeah, the no. game is going to progress based on how much research we've accomplished because we're going to become a member of the Survey Corps in Jubilife Village. AKA the Survey Corps of Attack on Titan. <laughs> so, I mean, um, the Pokemon are dangerous, Titans are dangerous. I mean, is it really any different at the end of the day? I don't think they're dangerous. Yeah. That's a, that's well, a apparently problem. everybody in the city does. Uh, off of, it's like one of the ancient Japanese like time periods like 200 years ago ish it's about 300 years ago and it's based on feudal japan it's actually 300 years before the events of diamond and pearl so it's there like you, you just yeah. took a time machine from the last run <laughs> oh my god that's true uh to which yeah. fury did an awesome job leaf four round three is actually such a sick category mm -hmm. for that game uh, okay, but yeah, so we just we just get plopped on the beach. Kind of feels like our other favorite isekai game in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, isn't that right? Where you plop on the beach and it's just like, oh my god, who are you? I love yeah. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So the very your, first uh, speedrun trick is like, <laughs> like the other day, they released a new Mystery Dungeon game on, or they released Red. Rush oh yeah, on the Switch on the Switch VC. online. Yeah. So. Uh, there's already some speed tech to talk about. Uh, you'll notice that T-Pad's not running directly into these cutscenes, but what he's doing is he's running as close to it as he can get, and then crouching, and then walking into it, and pressing A if it applies. Um, because a lot of cutscenes and a lot of cinematics in this game oh. don't... That was, mm. a, that was beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> so I, I gotta of, pat myself on the back for that one. That was probably my best crouch cancel. <laughs> a lot of the cinematics in this game don't start or even like load until your character has come to a complete stop. Um, that's going to be relevant a lot throughout the game. And the early way how we take care of this is uh, deciding to crouch walk into a cutscene because it's faster for the game to stand you up than it is for the animation to play of you suddenly being forced out of your dash. So that will apply in a whole bunch of spots. We've also identified a handful of cutscenes where it doesn't apply. Like if you're entering doors into loading zones, you don't have to do that. Um, for the most part, there's one exception to that because it's technically not a loading zone. But again, we've identified kind of where all these little cutscenes and waypoints begin and end. Uh, so we have to help Professor Laventon catch the uh, unruly starter Pokemon here, which is a good opportunity to ask everybody, who's your favorite of the three Hisuian starters? Syndical, Oshawott, or Rowlet? I'm a Rowlet enjoyer. I love Rowlet. Which is funny because uh, he's the only one that has cool never been. In, he's the only one that has never been in consideration for the speedrun. No, I didn't get it. Okay, yeah, I had to wait until you. Said Would you like to explain like what I tried to do there? Yeah. So, um, you notice the T-Pack kind of held there for a second before actually throwing the ball at Rowlet, um, because there's just enough time 
in English and there's a lot more time in Japanese where um, while Professor Leventon is talking about the Oshawa catch, um, the ball for Rowlett can do a big shake uh, you know, while he's talking and then as you're exiting the cutscene, it'll break out. You have to watch the third Pokemon break out no matter what. So it's a little bit of multitasking. I don't want to call it a skip, but you're basically multitasking a cutscene with a required event you have to see. And if um, you're just a rule in this game, you you might see t hesitate to walk into a cutscene or leave an area or warp or something. Um, if you enter a cutscene, warp or anything like that, any catches that are in progress will fail. Um, but not in a way that we wanted to see it here. So you need to see the ball break out uh, while you're, you know, yeah, active. Yeah, the script yeah. Uh, funny, funny enough, Halk, in practice, I was four for four on breakout skip this past week. It's really and, funny because um, and then I don't the get here because it's RNG. <laughs> well, it is RNG, but there's things you can do to make it more likely because um, what has been replaced is the low bounce. The low bounce has been replaced with the instant breakout. So you don't want to catch the Pokemon as well as possible, according to the formula, you know, a back shot, unspotted and all that. You want to catch it as statistically awfully as you can, like running up to it, scaring it in front strike. Mm -hmm. You know, because that'll give you more likely to get the, uh, the, the large the, the high bounce, for. which is what I did. Like I ran up to it. So it acknowledged my existence. So it was aware that I was there. So I didn't like sneak up on it. I didn't get like an unspotted bonus. And then I front striked it, and eh, it's yeah, you still did it right. Decided. It's still, still decided like that it sixty to seventy percent, sixty to seventy percent for you to get it. That is. Okay. So at this point, we're in a little bit more cutscenes, and again, this is going to be another instance where um, you want to stop walking at the end of this trail uh, before the professor stops walking, because it will wait a little bit until you've stopped before it'll start the next scene. Um, there's a lot of instances like that. Uh, the crouch cancels only save about they save less than a second each time but the amount of times sure you have to use it in the game it'll save about stop seconds. here see how i'm like yep. standing perfectly still and then lavington yep. stops and the cutscene activates immediately if i were still walking my character would have to take another step and then stop and then the fade out would happen no it's, it's like little even, little things like that it's a little bit harder to tell there because the, the screen always goes to black but even in the black screen it's waiting for your character to stop and that's something that people don't always understand. Um, because, was, you know... Uh, by the way, I did pick uh, Cyndaquil in my casual file, because Cyndaquil's just a little baby. But I do think uh, Samurott's Hisuian form is the coolest of the three. Change my mind! Change my mind, chat. I, I, <laughs> I know people don't like Samurott, but, like, Hisuian Samurott was pretty cool. This is the first I've heard that people don't like Samurai. <laughs> I thought it was pretty popular. People just um, didn't. Yeah. Like, people just didn't like Gen Five starters for some reason. So while we're in these cinematics, um, I did want to go in a little bit more into detail about how progression in this game will work. So oh, I thought we were going to do a four-hour discussion about uh, ZA rumors. <laughs> oh God! Don't even get me started. Well, on that. I mean, we could do that at some point, but please continue the plot progression and how we do that is like vitally important for this run. It is, it's like the 50 catches for Koga's gym, except on steroids. Yeah, so this game uh, and the speed run of it gets compared to Let's Go and uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, E4 Round 2 a lot. Um, just cause it has a similar structure of, uh, at least in the most basic sense, all the splits are independent or are, are not independent of one another. Saving time in one area means you've lost time in another area cause you have to make up uh, X thing. Um, in this case, it's points and catches and stuff. So um, it's not exactly 30 seconds per catch, and it's a no. lie because you're not you're not chasing a Growlithe up and down Route Six. You you know, copy It's bossy, a copy lot bossy. deeper than that. Um, <laughs> so the way uh, you know, since I've run both Let's Go and uh, Legends Arceus, I would describe it as Let's Go has a lot more surface level decisions, but you have a lot less time to make those decisions. But Arceus's decisions are much more complex, but luckily luckily, there's a lot of cutscenes you have to watch that give you a lot of time to really think about what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so what happens is when we're back here in Jubilife, to which we'll be forced to bait, with this being like the home base of the whole Hisui region, we actually can't travel from each section to section. Like, you know, they're like five mini wild areas. 
we can't go from each section or each wild area to each wild area. We have to always come back to Jubilife. And in each instance, we're going through a whole bunch of plot and cutscenes and text and talking to people. And all that time is really useful to basically look at our screenshots and recordings of what our research looks like and then make those applicable decisions based on like, oh, I have X research, so I need to do Y in the upcoming section of game. Yeah, so right there, t actually did do something I would consider to be a skip. Um, normally, the game is heavily implying you just run straight forward and go to your bed. Um, but if you do that, your character's going to turn around and look at that table, and that cutscene he went out of his way to go uh, interact with will happen eventually, but it'll take a little bit longer. So it's faster to just walk up to the table and talk to it. Yeah, surprise. I know what cutscene to engage yeah. in. It's not a big one. It's like maybe five, six seconds. Every little bit counts. Yeah. So I guess I can talk about a little bit of the history of this game in terms of a speedrun. Unfortunately, when this game came out, it was routed like a traditional Pokemon speedrun where you keep the starter the whole time or heavily have it involved in a lot of the fight decisions. So initially when this game came out, the theory or the big thing that really decided what starter we pick was who can get past Ursaluna. Um, Cyndaquil was obviously out because it was a fire type and Ursaluna's normal ground. Um, mm -hmm. So the community looked at uh, I guess it would be um, Dartrix and Quillop, or not Quillop, uh, Duwa, and um, realized that, okay, Dartrix's grass moves are all physical, or a lot of them are, and uh, with Ursaluna having a ridiculous defense stat, that's not going to work, so they chose uh, Oshawa. And, um, you know, we and it was, carried Oshawa and it was, throughout the game, it was, and it was fine. fine. It wasn't uh, it great. Helped it helped also fine. with the other, like the mini boss, which was Mai's Munchlax, which had rollouts. And talk about throwing the kitchen sink at that thing. <laughs> so, you know, given that, um, you may be wondering which starter we're going to be picking here. Uh, you know, it took a long time to think about it. One, what are you talking there's about? A, there's a lot of time to think about it, you know, because I just mentioned how uh, Rowlet and Oshawott are different and the pros and cons to each, you know, Oshawott having the special moves. So uh, we're going to be picking Cyndaquil. Yeah. And, Cyndaquil uh, <laughs> is real good. And the development there um, is something we're going to see very shortly. Uh, we realized that fighting is slow and we want to see as little of it as possible. Um, so we're going to do something after the tutorial segment here to uh, make uh, a lot of the fights and a lot of the stuff very quick. Yeah, you have to be a you, funny enough. You have to be a bit more short sighted when it comes to the battles in this game. You just need to get the best thing for the next objective at almost every point in the game. And the objective that we need right now is to just get enough research points to get out of tutorial land and enough experience to kind of beat Mai, who has what a level 10, level nine Munchlax, but the Munchlax was pretty tanky. So all we want to do is get a lot of research and a lot of experience really fast. And lo and behold, Cyndaquil is by far the best at doing that. Because while we are in tutorial land, we do have access to fight and catch, maybe, uh, level 20-ish beautiflies. And Cyndaquil is not only super effective against them with Ember, but also will learn Rollout, which is four times, well, not four times, two and a half times effective against them. Yeah, so I want to elaborate a little bit more on why Cyndaquil is important. Um, surprisingly, I don't know why they designed it this way, but um, if you were to do this fight with Rowlet or Oshawott, uh, the attacks you use give you absolutely no benefit, because um, you only start with one move. And Cyndaquil's move is the only one of the three starters that gives it research points. Uh, it's starting move. The other ones don't get starting moves that give it research until level six. So this whole time we're quick attacking Togepi, we're getting uh, a little check At least a couple one quick points. attack, two quick attack, you know. It's a little bit, but it, it, it matters. It matters a lot. Research points coming from a variety of things, the first of which will always be to catch the Pokemon or multiple of that Pokemon. But then you can do things like see certain moves, defeat Pokemon, defeat them with certain types of moves, feed them, catch them stealthily. All that can count for research points, uh, including evolving, which will be a big one. Uh, just each Pokemon has a different page worth of research points. And we're just gonna efficiently try to get 
uh, what is considered a dex level of 10 because each dex level is worth 10 research points. And when we get to 10, we get a bonus 100 research points. So effectively by completing a dex page, by just getting the little check mark next to it, we'll go from 90 research points to 200 research points. And to be able to efficiently gain those research points like that will be our most efficient way to unlock each successive plot progression of the game because we need to rank up basically each time to unlock a new area. So we'll get to rank five, which is 8,500 research points. And that is the hard requirement for the whole run. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why I said it matters that Cynical can get this uh, research early. Cause um, I think with the research we end up doing, if we didn't get uh, 20 points from the two quick attack usages, uh, when we evolve it into Quilava, it would only be rank 8. So it's very important that we get those two quick attack uh, research points. Mm -hmm. And then everything else that we complete in terms of research, research is like just kind of like bonus. Nice 10, 20 drought, points. by the way. <laughs> nice 4% cool. drought. I love weather. How can you make it not crazy hot in Spokane, Washington? It's 95 been degrees here in, in Dallas. I would. Uh, no, it's I, humid here today. The dew point was above 60 in Washington I, states. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds dreadful. Yes, it was. Uh, basically, our humidity levels were on par with that of Kansas. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just grateful we're not in triple digits here in Texas. We're close, I, we're I would say I'm also <laughs> grateful, but uh, lo and behold, we are also in triple digits right now. Uh, by the way, we trick Ray into giving us more Pokeballs. Uh, where'd you go, Badoof? Hello? Yeah, so that's something that actually, um, you know, one of the best, the best runner in Europe, uh, Shady, kind of realized is um, once you walk past uh, the initial campground of this area, you can't go backwards. So Rival has a failsafe if you run out of Pokeballs. The game doesn't check where your Pokeballs went, so we just deposited them before we fought Bolo. And we just talked to Rival, and he's like, "Oh no, you have no more Pokeballs. Here, take twenty more." Here, take, it might yeah, seem like a waste of free. time because you could just you could just keep the Pokeballs they gave you initially, but money is no, we extremely want important. And not having to spend all the money on twenty more Pokeballs is a massive help. Uh, you are Wait. all right. That's good. That's good. That, that's definitely a backstrike or not backstrike, an unspotted catch. Yeah. So Tifa's so decided. I waited, to, I waited until. Uh, I waited specifically for the ellipses to go away because that is what represents if a Pokemon uh, has noticed you, particularly uh, one that is like skittish or aggressive. Uh, we'll do the ellipses to make them aware that they are aware of you. That yeah, so in this, it's, it's very important that he did it here because this is the only guaranteed catch he's ever going to have on Starly. Uh, he could choose to try to catch some Starlies later unspotted, but there's a chance they break out. So, just to be safe, should, you know. should I back strike this? Shinx? No, no, okay, just let it run. <laughs> yeah, that's so usually shinx, what I, uh... that's usually what I do. So, we'll let it ride. This is like the only one that's not guaranteed. Yeah, so if you do what T-Pad just did, it's you 70. Into this, by the way. If T-Pad, um, if what T-Pad just did, I'm sorry, what he just did is a 72% catch here. And he got it. Nice. It was a 50% for the first ball, for the first check to work, which is what the low bounce is. By the way, I guess I'll explain the catch mechanics. Yeah, um, the, low, the low bounce is good. If it does two... Sorry, the game does two checks. If it passes the first check, you get the low bounce and it's just caught. That's why um, you see speedrunners, if you ever watch the speedrun, if we see the low bounce, we know it's getting in because it is past the first running. check. We're done. We're just like, it's in. Yeah, and then... um. If it fails the first check, it goes for the giant shaking bounce. Um, yeah, the first, and then if the it fails, and then if it fails the second check, it breaks out. So right this there, is a there bit was a different check yeah. for the first check to pass. Yeah, it's a bit different than the traditional way you would catch Pokemon because, uh, like you said, it only does two of the uh, catch like calculations, and you need to succeed one, and that's it, and it's mm -hmm. in. Unlike regular Pokemon games, where it does the catch check four times and you have to succeed all four and for each one you succeed you get a shake so if you succeed three out of four you get three shakes and it breaks out is how it typically works but it's different in this game 
You only need to succeed one shake. And if it specifically succeeds the first one, it actually has a different animation to which we can recognize, which is super cool. We use that to our advantage. Yeah, so uh, T-Pat was asking whether he should backstrike it or not. Uh, for those that run Scarlet and Violet, you know that backstriking a Pokemon, or I've played Scarlet and Violet, oh, yeah. I guess. Um, backstriking a Pokemon increases the catch rate. That came from this game. Um, sure backstriking did. a Pokemon, even if it's to initiate a battle, does increase your catch rate. It's a multiplier. So if, but because, uh, you know, that's the only multiplier he's getting when there's so many other things, like if it's sleeping, if it's stunned, uh, if it if has eaten the raspberry at some point. Yeah. So, um, it only would have helped four and a half percent if he hit it with a backstrike. So it would have gone from 72% catch to 77% catch or 4.5 rather. Yeah. Which is not that big of a percentage increase. So you can just let it ride. But kind of like how Let's Go experience multipliers stack really fast, catch multipliers, like catch rate multipliers, stack really fast in this game. Mm -hmm. So if it's sleeping, that's a pretty big multiplier in its own. But you can also like feed it a berry. You could feed it a raspberry to also get it like a permanent buff. And like, so like the raspberry buff, the actively eating and a backstrike those multipliers all of a sudden start to make a big, big difference. Yeah, the biggest one I've, I've recently figured out and I've started using myself, if you feed Yen Mega, or if you try to catch Yen Mega with a backstrike in uh, Corner Highlands, um, it's just going to be like 50 or 60%, I think. But if it's eating a cake and you hit it with a backstrike, it is 95% to catch. <laughs> that's, so, that's so huge. Yeah, a cake is the most... Uh, is that also a mushroom higher. cake? Yeah, Mega likes a lot of cakes. Yeah. Uh, I s and for anybody who is unaware, uh, mushrooms? Good. We, f we figured that out recently. It was it was also very weird, and it will come up partially in this run. Like, if you feed orange berries, every single Pokemon likes orange berries. It's like the base berry that every Pokemon will go after. Any Pokemon will but eat there are berry. Yeah. But there were... The but each Pokemon also has like their own flavors of all the other resources. So we'll pick up things like mushrooms and beans and salt things. Honey. And some Pokemon will like those, but not all of them. And it was kind of weird to understand which Pokemon likes what. So at a base rule of thumb, most of the stuff we're gonna catch actually likes mushrooms. And we're going to leverage that to our advantage uh, because yes. one of the really, really high catch multiplier items that we could get is called a mushroom cake. And the cakes are even bigger than like raspberries. Yeah, so according to my spreadsheet, um, I made a spreadsheet for it. Uh, beans and mushrooms are like equal. Um, but mushroom cakes, the only things that don't like them are Togepi and Shadow. So you can just use your raspberries for those. But then gotcha. bean cakes, the only things that don't like those are Tangled and Badoo. Out of everything you feed in this run that you want to catch. Sweet. By the way, if anybody in chat is just like, why are you explaining so much of the run? And it's, it's because we haven't done the run yet. Yeah, the run's about we to have, start. <laughs> we, we have done a bunch of tutorial land stuff. We just got barely introduced to catch mechanics. We're getting introduced to crafting right now. We're actually officially going to get the Pokedex in a second here. It basically takes 25 minutes of the intro to this game to then start kind of playing the game. So we're getting now, all the explanation points out of the way right away. So that way we don't have to explain it when uh, everything is happening all at once. It's not that this doesn't matter either. Um, this, this, you know, it, it's easy to kind of write it off as, oh, this is irrelevant, you know, just tutorials, mashing oh, through text, I've, I've been doing all of my crowd so Just to give you an idea, <laughs> um, T-Pat is currently... Not doing too bad. I've hit, like, all of my crouch cancels really good. I just didn't have the breakout skip. Yeah, so T-Pat is currently 20 seconds behind my PB. <laughs> oh, my God. God, I hate that. <laughs> Don't I'm tell sorry. me that next time. <laughs> yeah, next time. That's the only time I'll say it. Just because I don't want I don't want any, in, I don't want any intro slander. I don't want you any intro slander. It matters. Literally as cracked as you are, jacked. It matters. <laughs> it matters. I mean when when you get to Hulk's level at this game, 
matters a lot. When you're at my level, you can still have fun playing the game and playing it in a really fast, it's still drought, uh, and rewarding way. Well, it's the same day. Okay. And enough time hasn't passed for a weather reroll. Which is every but, um, the two, five, two. It, this area three. is four to six minutes. Okay. It, it, it changes because I think in. Um, weather almost doesn't matter in this category. Uh, just keep your fingers crossed for no fog because fog no, like, is if you like get drought, um, fog. If you get drought later in this area, that's actually extremely good because, um, you know, when you get to the forest, that makes it more likely for it to be Veneri over Psyduck. Hey, you love to see that. Yeah, because you don't really need to see Psyducks because they're they're literally everywhere for the rest of the they're game. They're in each area of the game. But this is the only area where we're going to be doing research where Beniri exists. So ah, I finally got a slow crouch cancel. Yeah. Why so does that happen that one, again? That one was because he crouched too late. Um, <laughs> but sometimes you crouch and walk into a cutscene and and it still does holding, it anyways. <laughs> yeah, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and it just doesn't work out. one here. I got it again. Yeah, that one was also so, crouching. Okay, down. so I gave you the examples of how it can look when you don't do it wrong or the game just hates you. Mm -hmm. It's all okay. Okay, we have officially hit the 25 minute mark, Calgary. You know what that means? Uh, I'm surprised. We're officially playing the game. Time. Start the timer. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not 20 seconds behind. Uh, there's, there's actually just fun. one more waypoint I'm going to hit. Well, uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, part of it is you didn't get the breakout skip in the beginning, and you also went for an unspotted catch on Starly. Those things matter. Not a lot, but they matter. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> like, wrong you know, wrong little Bindu, daisy patch. If those things hadn't happened, you'd probably only be like 10 seconds behind, or maybe even like 6 or 5. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> all right, that's okay. We, this is a marathon. We, yeah, that's fine. 20 seconds in a marathon, my estimate's 410. I think I can beat that. Okay, we're gonna start playing the game here. That is uh, a that really one... big wormhole. What the hell? Here, this one's gonna be unspotted, though. Okay. That one broke out. Cool. That one broke out, too. Uh oh. Don't worry about it. Just go. Uh, just go. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna grab the one over here. Oh my god. Oh, there's two over here. Just I didn't I didn't like the fact that I got zero right off the bat. They could these I I don't agree with this because they could also just break out too. Uh the one the third one so I have three out of four breakouts, but one makes me feel a little better than zero. Yeah. It's fine. I really just wanted one. I've I recently gone back and started catching the doofs at the end. Or at the beginning. Because, you know having the wormples here doesn't Woo, matter all we're off to a great start, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's just some, you know, I don't know, my school of thought on how to do a lot of this stuff changes over time. Yeah, you might you might see a slightly different just strategy because again, my level's a little bit different than your level. Um so everybody kind of has their own like way to handle some research. Finally, these guys are I'll crouch in here. Oop. Stop moving, please. You already have T-Pet now because of your strategy. Yeah, I wouldn't have gone for those Wurmples. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone out of my way for those other two. Because, you know, All right. they can break out. <laughs> well, if you well get this, all the shakes get in, whatever. Okay, so yeah, this is actually great that you got a fifth one there. Because if you catch the one tomorrow, you'll have six, and you only need to six. one quick attack. Sheesh. I have yeah, yeah. never gotten that. <laughs> did you hear what I said? <laughs> I did. I didn't so get the you six. Currently one have now. five. No, no, but but if you catch the one tomorrow, then I only need to. one quick attack. Yes, and that's a big deal because then the fights are just allowed to go faster without you feeling like you're losing time. Right. Yeah. He, I think, saw me. Yes. Okay. She so now me. we got to the beautiful eyes. Uh, I see. Yep, I see two. I'm gonna try to look it away. Oh, burn, I can stay. Burn, burn is good. Burn is burn is very safe to stay here because the beautiful eye will take damage now. I think I would have done a quick attack there because this isn't going to kill because of the iron defense. It might actually die to the burn. Hey, stun's good. 
I'll go for a quick attack. Okay. Ah. I just keep run, run away, run away, run away, run away. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, gonna die. It's, gonna die. it's gonna die on that. Yeah, it's gonna die on the burn. Hooray! So now I don't need a rollout this time, right? Uh. Oh, I hit the tree. That's bad. Uh, I have to run because I'm two on one here. Yeah. Yeah, this is one far off. So. And, uh, Uh, I'm getting tag teams pretty bad here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so specifically, I'm trying to get up the. T-Pad is looking for a backstrike to initiate the battle. Um, there I we go. The that did the. Okay, that worked out. A little bit spooky. Okay, I, out. I don't need to roll out here, correct? Because I saw Stunt Spark. Uh, no, you're good. Yeah. It's just one of them, I think. Uh, where'd this other one run off to? I don't even think you need rollout anyway with the two kills with the three kill strat. We are free to go for a YOLO rollout right here if you want to, just to kind of yeah, I'll do it. Flex on it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sweet. Okay. So we're done here. We're done. Uh, this might have seemed like a massive detour for literally no reason. Um. But we got a lot no. of experience from that, where everything yeah, in our party can evolve. And the old strategy, uh, when we Ooh. started with Oshawa, like I mentioned, we would go around where t was kind of having Wurmple issues, and we'd just catch everything there. A bunch of Starlies, maybe an Eevee if you're lucky, or a Mime Jr. Um, you know, there'd be a lot of catches, and we'd have to evolve these things anyway, you know, later on. So we're currently being kept out of town by a 500 point, by a 500 point barrier. So because these evolutions have to take place anyway, we might as well kill the butterflies and have the evolutions take place earlier to get us out of here so we don't have to waste time catching other things. And the high levels we are at right now are going to make our fights a lot quicker, saving many, many turns in quite a few minutes. Yeah, the the, the level boost is, super, is significant. Mm -hmm. If you want to evolve that silken into butterfly, you can to make sure you get out. I, I'm actually going to tell you to do that. I'm, I'm not asking. Yeah, uh, I think I agree with that because, especially for a marathon, it's just super safe. Yeah, because I'm not sure you have enough points to get out without evolving that. Uh, I'll just do it anyways. Yeah. I I think I do. It'd be close. I probably have like 510 or 530. So uh, but if with you this, were... I will have like. This is at least 80 extra points, I think. Yeah, something like that. Because all the, because even if you have research on a Pokemon, if you have not caught the Pokemon at all, uh, or have acquired the Pokemon in any way, uh, you don't get any research for okay, it yet. So if you, you need were, at least one of the Pokemon. Okay, so if you were a hundred points away from getting out, then or less than a hundred points, then you would not have gotten out without it. Six eighty. Okay, so you were good. You had five eighty without it. Or wait, yeah. Yeah, it seems right. Yeah. So you literally just need a second catch and you're good. Or actually, you know what? Um, you have, you're in an, an interesting spot where if you want to, instead of catching another Beautifly and going through that hell, uh, you could withdraw Beautifly on the way to Fire Spit Island and just see it use an Agile move. Eh. Agile anything. I can catch one Beautifly. There's a jillion of them in Area 3. <laughs> I would I would rather see you not do that because it has a terrible catch rate. <laughs> yeah, but there's a literally a billion of them. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll we, can, we, can, we, can, we can discuss it later. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're talking about stuff in the area three, like an hour and a half from now. Yeah, but this is like a point where you would do that because we have nothing to do right now. We are just co handing in our yeah, research. This is strategy time. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is, is strategy time. This is this is this is big strategy time. Um, in fact, what I'm doing right now, if I look like I'm distracted, uh, I have what's called a replay buffer on OBS. Think of it like a screenshot, but for video. If you would have saw me, I f like basically really quickly flipped through the research tasks. Like it looked like it was too fast for me to do anything, but not for a frame by frame replay, which I will now quick or very slowly scroll through. My Badoof was not heavy. 
Uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been speedrunning Pokemon for ten years, and ever since I started recording your recording your runs has always been required. So we might as well put that recording to our advantage and use it. In my opinion, yeah. uh, that's really the only thing of importance here. I do have the five Shinks, and I only have two Wurples, including the one in my party. I didn't think you so got two. <laughs> I caught like the. Uh, that was the wrong place. Uh, yeah, I caught the I caught the one <laughs> out of the first four, and then I caught one out of the next two, like after the Shinx. Apparently, all my luck. Was <laughs> What's funny is that my previous two runs, which were on Saturday, uh, I didn't even make it past the butterfly section because I was so tilted about how my Shinx catches went. Of which I got zero in two straight attempts. It was like zero for eight. And today I have five. So yeah, that was that was funny. Uh, I mean, I usually, for the longest time when I've used, when I've used VLC media player to look at the clips, I've just kind of like dragged the, the tap, you know, the scroll bar. So I yeah, look at it, but I just re I realized recently that you can press E to advance it frame by frame with VLC. Huh. Wait, I'm going to try that. E, 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 E. Oh, next frame. Is there a backwards frame? Is it like W? No, I didn't find a backwards frame. All right. <laughs> All right, chat. If you, if, you know what, if you know what backwards one frame in VLC Media Player is, type it in chat. I don't I think there that. is one. Oh, come I on. Looked. I looked. <laughs> if there is, it's like deep in the settings, nowhere near it. Yeah, it literally just makes a, a little video file on your computer in a designated spot. That's like 15 seconds or something, or whatever uh, whatever duration you set it for. Yeah, I have mine set at 20 because sometimes I forget and I'm like, oh, that, and I hit it and uh, I'm a little bit more safe to get it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't even need to be that long if you get it right away. So yeah, this game has like an insane skill uh, cap. You know, because I've been running this game ever since it came out, and I don't think I'm perfect. You've you know, been I I running be this game for a disgusting amount of time, and no one recommends to put as much time into this game as you have. It is no. actually bad for your mental health. No, do not <laughs> run this do game not. in a fun way. Like, uh, like, we don't say this to be like, yeah, don't challenge Halkyrie for world records. Like, no, 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 like, protect yourself. Yeah, this I, is about I don't you. Recommend, this isn't about world records. I don't recommend top level artists to anybody, just because it's a bit, right. it's a bit of a grind. Um, All right, any of these gonna but, be chonkers? But I think this game at a lower level, mid level, even like upper level, is very, very interesting. Because the more you understand the decks, the more fun it gets. Um, you know, right. a lot similar to how um, in Fire Leaf Green. Uh, uh, equal round two, the more oh, yeah. you understand like the catch percentages and uh, when you should stay, when you should go, and all that stuff, when, whether you should stay for another Pokemon, stuff like that. You know, the more you understand about that, the more fun that category gets. So, so I got none of those Starlies, by the way. I did not get that Shinx it broke out. Oh, yeah, sorry. High skill ceiling. Um, there's also a quite high knowledge floor that I acknowledge. That one was not your fault, by the way. That was the first yeah. Miss Crash Camp that was not your fault. Okay, like, <laughs> you were talking, and what's really funny is I didn't hear a word you said in the last, like, yeah, minute. So Because I was has... in, like, big focus mode, and, like, the Badoofs were great, and then the Starlies I saw you got bad, one heavy and then, the, and, then the sh and then the Shinx broke out, and I still have five. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, the, the Starly breakouts annoyed me. Did you I, see you got a heavy I did not see, but you told me. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, you can if you once you get used to this game and get used to kind of like kind of like multitasking, you can oh, while you're I aiming at one thing, you can you can glance up to the top left corner and see some of the tasks that are rolling in. Um, it's very important if you're doing something like Geodude, where um, you know. The best, the fastest way to understand which ones are heavies are looking at the top of the screen when you catch them. Like that, also, that matters. Uh, I lost, that. I lost a half turn on that fight because my Luxio was slow. 
So by using Bite, normally a move that would flinch instead just lowers the initiative of the Munchlax. Usually you can get two moves in a row. I did not because my Luxio is slow. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and explain the battle system while you're doing Cricket and all that stuff. Yeah, um, it's like Final Fantasy X. Yeah, so the way I like to explain it, everybody, just as like a base understanding, is if you've ever played a tabletop RPG, it's kind of similar to initiative, where um, everybody has a value, and when that value comes back around, it's your turn again. Um, but it, the, way, the way it differs is there's just always a counter that starts at zero. And let's say Shinx was uh, four, and let's say Shinx was three, and Munchlax was five. So when the timer counts up to three, it will be Shinx's turn. And then when it counts up to five, it'll be Munchlax's turn. But then Shanks is going to get two turns before Munchlax's next turn, because six and nine come before ten. And there's things you can do like agile moves or strong moves that influence that. Um, but for the most part, that's how it works. And it's very, very predictable. And it's because the Luxio um, wasn't in a higher speed uh, bracket. It's fine. Not, oh, actually, no, that's not fine. Oh, that's not fine. I would not have thrown another berry. Yeah, so the thing about this game... Um, I, I threw a berry out of instinct. Just I, I know, I know. It's it's safer. Did you only get two after that? That sucks. Hmm. Mm. But anyways, that's how the battles work. Um, and agile moves don't actually speed you up. They slow the opponent down, or the one you use it on. Oh, throw, get that, get that, get that, get that. Get that. Yeah, I was going to say if I get uh, two, I'll go get this. Well, even if you get one. That's research. I'm just going to run away from it. Don't worry about it, everybody. Yeah, so right now, T-Pad is still on foot. He hasn't gotten his first mount yet. Um, so you might as well, while you're while walking is your fastest speed, initiate that battle and run away from it. Because seeing G-Dude leap out of the ore is um, research. Now, later on, once you get Weird Ear, it's not viable, because when you're in a battle, you're on foot, even if you have Weird Ear as a ride option. That's good to know, because I didn't think of it that way, so I should just always get it if I catch a Geodude. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because it's 20 points. Just, like, essentially doing something you'd be doing anyway, walking. Maybe, like... I didn't see if any of those were heavy that I caught. I did get two, which is kind of nice. But if they're if both heavy, then are... you can just... If they're even both if heavy, is, even if one you can is heavy, them both. probably go for it. Yeah, so because you got the ore jump out, if the two you caught are heavy, just evolve them. Don't worry about catching a third one. Gotcha. I don't think they were, though. But there the are plenty of Geodudes. I can, but there are plenty of Geodudes. I can always get a third. I don't think it's worth forcing, personally. That's just me. There's, a, there's just... I mean, you run by usually a couple. Yeah, so, I mean... Already, you can see that you know, no run's ever going to be the same as the run before. Like, uh, there's a chance that all, both of those G dudes would have broke out, and T Pat would have nothing. And there's a chance that uh, Cricketot wasn't a jerk with fairy. And there's a chance that uh, there's a chance that Munchlax didn't get a second kick attack if the Shanks was faster. Um, although it's kind, you know, in the Shanks's defense and Luxio's defense, you did evolve the wrong one. Uh, you evolved true. the one you caught last. This is true. So if you had caught, but they were both the one you caught in the trial. If you had evolved the one you caught in the trial, I checked which levels they were, and they were both fifteen. And it was going to be the same amount of inputs. Look, justice for Shanks. You you passed up on the correct one. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> You know, yeah, if a, there's if, a weird if two Wurmples would have got in and populated my party, then then the first Shanks would have had justice. So it's True. really Wurmples' fault if you think about it uh, I for agree. throwing off my party in the first place. Because usually I would have two Wurmples in that one. Yeah, so Anyways. I did the math, and you did not need to catch any Wurmples at all. You could have filled your party with Bidoofs. Because the Wurmples, the Silcoon, and the Beautifly did not contribute 180 points to your uh, total. Yeah, true. You're so That's right. What... You're, so, you're so real. No, like, this is something I've gone back and forth on a lot. Like, we used to just catch the Bidoofs and withdraw the Wurmples later. 
Um, it can be hard to finish Bidoof, like, but ever since I started just catching them again, I've never had a problem finishing Bidoof. Either catching 12 or getting like, one heavy and evolving or something like that. Like, I've <sighs> never had a problem finishing Bidoof. Do you... And then what do you do for Wurmples later? Uh, you with... Okay, so one of the um, the Japanese players, Kitamura, he came back and took both the records, and I took English back after that. Um, what he does, he withdraws uh, the other gender Starly on day three here. And it evolves that. And then I, I've i decided to evolve my Wurmples on that day as well. So this next day, the T-Pat's about to do, we refer to it as day three. You know, the first day was the one re um, did the Beautifulize. The second day is one where we fought the cricket team, and the third day will be the next upcoming day, or the third visit, rather. This one, um, this day is probably my weakest of the first area because I, mm -hmm. I still struggle to, I still struggle to do the the Psyduck and the Veneery portion of the game as optimally as possible. I kind of like tiptoe my way around the river area, but I never know if I'm doing it like fast enough, oh, and it's so just kind of funky. One of the benefits of withdrawing the other gender Starly now, as opposed to later on for Cobalt, is it gets you to 1800 a lot easier, so I don't even consider Benary to be required anymore. I don't bother with it, like if unless I see a bunch of them next to each, next to each other. That was another Kitamura development. That's, was like, that's, that's kind of dope. I kind of like that. Yeah, and he oh, also I sure wish my replay would load. He also pointed out a spot um, to the left of like the final cluster of spawns. Like to the left, if you're doing like the beat Cleaborn strat and just run up the wall, like to the left, there's two spots where Beniri is guaranteed to spawn. So if you must feed Beniri's, there's two spots right there that are always Beniri. They're up on a ledge to the left of that little cluster. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I do have two genders of Starly. I have, I have, bleh, yeah. Okay, I'm good. So you may be wondering, T Pat, if you evolve or if you withdraw the other gender of Starly right now and evolve that here, what do you bring to Cobalt? You bring Paris. Hooray! I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's that's not a joke. Yeah. So then you can you know. then you can use Stun Spore or exactly. Evolve it. Yeah. So if you want to do that now, like I, I think you'll be completely safe to just, you know, experiment. Yeah, because it. usually I just try to get Paris in my party in, in area two and then evolve it when I after Lilligant, which is pretty consistent. How are the Geodudes? Uh, that's a good question. I'm going to keep looking. Uh, I did not finish Cricketot because I did not catch one unspotted. Oh, did you not I get two? two uh, I also did not get two genders. Okay, so now so T-Pat needs I call one more cricket tot, and it needs to be either unspotted or the other gender. I don't think I can tell which one I have, male or female. Uh, if, like, um, send me a screenshot. <laughs> I'm the, the... My, my chat has come up with a name for uh, me, uh, okay. regarding my ability to determine genders of Pokemon. Not always fully appropriate. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna put it in the runner chat. Okay. That is a male. So uh, the female has a. <laughs> so the difference is that's how does this guy know? The it's female incredible. has a much higher like the the hood behind it behind its head is a lot taller if it's female. Like these are the things you have to know. To be, I. It was. I said, literally, literally. Man, chat, I want to be the, the best. Like no one ever won. In runner okay. chat was like instantaneous. <laughs> this guy. Okay, now I'm gonna get to Geo Dude, of which none are heavy. Okay, that's fine. Then catch you just, two, one ore deposits. You can catch another one for twenty points later in Cobalt or Crimson if you see it, but I don't think yeah. it's worth like chasing anymore. Like you already have forty yeah. points for it. And. Now, like, the safety strat there is if I catch one and then evolve two of them, I do get Geodude, and then a handful of Graveler points. That, that, that's the nickname which, I've been given by my community, by the way, of the Bug Sexer. Um, so I'm, I'm really good at determining these things. I'm I'm better about the, the Cricket Tunes because I know it's the length of the mustache. The, 
I, I just forget which one's which. Like, one's the short mustache and one's the, the, the long, Yeah, low. the male has the long mustache to the point where you can't even... you If you cannot see the end of the mustache in the little circle profile picture, um, if you cannot see the mustache, it is a male. Or you cannot see the end of it. If it's really short to where you can see, like, the where, where it curls off, that's, that's female. Whew! Okay, so all that... By the way, that whole time we were discussing bug genders uh we were still just in plot cutscenes okay so don't forget to um okay, withdraw the so other gender starly withdraw other, yeah. other gender starly and a wormple correct two wormples just i don't have two wormples oh sorry yeah withdraw, withdraw the other wormple then all right do you know which gender starly you have nope i'm gonna figure it out in the thing <laughs> okay yeah, I wasn't paying attention earlier. I could have told you. Uh, I have female there. Okay, big forehead, big forehead. That's female. That's another female T bat. Oh, sorry. Big forehead. Yeah, that right. There you go. Uh, and we just want it over. Oh, we. Uh, you know what? Keep beautifully. Um, keep beautifully. Keep beautifully over yes. what? Star Avia. Uh, Star Avia. Yeah, and see it use an agile yes. move, then you can finish it. Oh, oh my god! I didn't click the button. Okay. Thank you know, you. like I said, um, I said you could have done that later, but you could do that right now if you want to, while you're still on foot. It, it has something you can use Agile. It doesn't have to be Stun Spore, even though, you know, that's the first thing That'd you think great. of. No, you've already seen Stun Spore, so you didn't have to see three for new tier. So just use Agile something with Beautifly and it will be done. Go for this catch. That's a big Paris. Yeesh! <laughs> yeah, he was! And that's important because Paris is a task for being large. Ooh, feed you. Hello. Oh, yeah, feed it. Feed it. Feed it. Feed it. Yep. And then right. look for the cricket cricket hot spot while you're while it's eating. Go back to the, the other spot. Yep. It's gonna eat for a while. You're fine. Don't rush it. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know why you're getting so close. You don't have to. All right, now. Uh, yeah. Slowly approach the Pichu. It's gonna. It's like not. It's gonna be done eating. That's fine. This is that. Oh, damn it. All right, it's fine. It's fine. There you go. If it gets in, Back. it's still like 50 points or something. It broke out. <laughs> okay, cool. I love it. Yeah. That sucks. If you want to backstrike a BD here and, um, or a big barrel, that'd be perfect actually with Beautifly. So you can get the move, Agile move on it. There we go. Yeah, Agile something. Pick something that's not an inaccurate. Uh, poison Sting. Agile Poison Sting. Do it. There you go. It was the only one. I've never done this before, but it I see no reason why you cannot. Okay, no. you know, these ones. Yeah. All right, so Beautiful is actually I thought I could now. at least get that barrel because he was uh, at least yes, looking the other way. Beautiful will be done now. Uh, That's a big Bidoof. That's a chonker. I love chonkers. Uh, too bad this tree isn't shaking. That would have been pretty spicy. Yeah, so the difference between male and female Cricketod is what I went over earlier. Um, the hood on the back is larger if it's female. Okay, the Neary. And I don't know what's over here, but something will There's something. that. I'll be careful. Don't walk through the water. That's that's what I was... Uh, there's a Psyduck over here. Uh, oh, and that was a Veneery. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so catch the Veneery. Catch the Veneery now. And then, and then uh, go. Yeah, go for the cat. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, beautiful. I almost yeah, throw that a little too early. I was, it was pretty hasty. Just run the game if you want to backseat. I have the world record. <laughs> Just in case. You, know, you missed the beginning of the run. I'm literally the best at this game. This is what I was brought here to do. Two. That'll be three, so I don't need to feed any more Psyducks. Hey, you! Get in this ball. Alright, and then I just need to feed one of these Veneeries. Or catch fine. two. Um, don't tell the runner oh, how to play. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, walking through the water is kind of loud. Yeah, um, yeah, just so everyone That'll knows, I was. this is what I was told to do by the runner, so it's fine. Alright, and then I actually just want this berry tree. Okay. 
Uh, Baneri's done because I caught one fed four. Yeah. And Psyduck will be done in the next area. And we're going to do the thing that I came up with for day four, which is called Fight a Paris, Catch Nothing. Um, yeah, I don't... Uh, well... Because then I get the, I get most of the research skip. Well, how many BDFs do you have? Oh, that's a good point. Four. <laughs> I saw you got two heavies, but I don't think you have enough to just... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I only got... If I got the if I got that one Bidoof, then I have five, and I just need one more. Mm -hmm. It's really cool when I don't have to catch anything because then you skip half of the handing and research stuff, and you can save a little bit of time, which is kind of nice. But that mm -hmm. Baneri side section went pretty well. I was actually pretty happy with that. I don't know about you, but that, that was that was amazing. I thought it went really well. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Five total. Okay. Yes, you need to yeah, I, I, mean, I still need to catch one more then. And mm, I can't really if you wait. want to, it'd be kind of risky, but you could put it off until Cobalt. Or not Cobalt, Crimson, and just hope you see another video there. Um, yeah. And I should, ju I should just evolve the... Uh, the uh, should I wait till the next area? Um, I mean, or next area, unless I you... Say. I would evolve now, just because it's already in For the party one. And you're going to evolve another Wurmple anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, Luck is Wurmple going to be done with Walmart Evo? Uh, depends on if I caught that third one. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. But did you have, like, two unspotted? Uh, I don't know. Three catches <laughs> on its own is just rank four. Yeah. So you need three Evos. I don't think I got any of them unspotted, to be honest. That's fine. We don't need Warple to get done. Oh, maybe it would have been better to put off this evolution until the next day. I'm not mad because you, you didn't, you're didn't. you not used to having the Starly here. Because <laughs> the Starly's not quite... Oh, no, because I'll... Okay, and I got yeah. Cascoon here. Okay, Which so... will definitely keep. Yeah. Here, I'll evolve the Doof. Yeah, so that's really unfortunate that, like, you may not be able to finish one pull or a Cocoon. Unless you caught this third one, in which case you can evolve it later. Would you want me to just grab that for day blah 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 whatever? Um, uh, day four, no, anyways. No, I have a different idea. Oh, that one was fast. Okay, thank you. You have an idea? Okay, excellent. Uh, I did I catch that one. Catch it. So um, remember what I said about bringing Paris to Cobalt? We're actually going to bring yeah. that Wormhole. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah. You need to catch more things anyway, or do more research, rather. Okay, Baneri's done, but Psyduck just needs... I'm going to catch the the next area one. I yeah, so we're, we're talking about stuff that's, like, really far in advance, and, you know, I, I'd love to talk more about, like, the run structure and stuff, but, you know, we're, we're trying to make sure <laughs> this run can be completed optimally. <laughs> And, and honestly, like, it, it's actually great to, to have Halk here because, like, now we have two brains attacking one run at the same time. It's not a fair and fight. honestly, like, <laughs> it's honestly, it's, like, so great because, like, I, I've i learned so much by having you in call before. Just either mm -hmm. analyzing runs or just being around because you help me get, like, a different perspective on the game. And you're just extra brain power yeah. um, because I'm so focused on... Do the movement, get back strike the paneer. You know, like my brain's trying to process a thousand things at once. And in order to get to a high level of this game, and you've preached this to me a thousand times before, is you have to offload a lot of mental strain to your hands, and you just yeah, need muscle the memory. muscle memory, like outright just muscle memory everything. And then all the movement becomes automatic, and then your brain is freed up to tackle the real questions which is how do i officially do the research because that's what gives us like a massive advantage uh my yeah, beautiful like, are I'm... done by the way yeah yeah because uh you did yeah. the agile move you're right thank you for reminding me yeah wormple i need to just i need to uh evolve one. yeah we can do that. uh yep but doof's at nine wormple's at nine cricket tot's done beautiful eyes done and then the Psyduck, I just need to catch one in the next area, and I'm good. Okay, so we've just got our first mount, our first ride Pokemon. Um, we got Weirdier. 
Weirdier is going to be uh, what you're going to see us using for most of the game. Uh, it's, you know, the fastest mount tied with Braviary, but it's the one we're going to have for most of the game because we can get Braviary until Area 5, or Area 6, or 5, 5. Um, and Weirdier is incredible. Um, it's Weirdier's incredibly crazy. fast. It's incredibly easy to control. If you, um, One thing I think a lot of new runners do is they try to just hold forward and kind of angle left and right to turn. Uh, you actually just want to hold B and press left and press right to control it like a tank. Um, that's how do it works there for me. Slightly different movement here. Exactly. Ah, you spun on me the, the, the wrong the, the, way. None of them saw you. Or none of them aggroed. You could have caught them. These ones look like good guys. Okay. Those look like juicers. Uh, where'd the Paris go? Uh, hello? Wait. It was to your left. Ah, here you are. Uh, I guess I'm fighting you. Uh, I spun the wrong way on the wheel. <laughs> That's fine. Paris, you can hit it in the front and it, it's awfully slow. Yeah, just just my hot bar wheel. I was one to the right and I went five to the left instead. Don't forget to catch a beat you. Have you um, used a second Ember yet? Uh, I'm going to be using it on Irida. Okay, that's oh, you're going to do Agile second. Ember. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you should be done with the right. now. Yeah, all this is game. Oh, I was going to just grab a few extra berries, a little marathon safety here, grab that's these great. black tumble stones, which are great. Oh, I wish you had caught a Silcoon, but that's fine. Because um, if you had yeah. caught a Silcoon, when we evolve that third Wurmple, no matter what it evolves into, we'd be able to finish uh, one of the cocoons. Right. Actually, no way. Yeah, With three I, evolutions, I, you always finish one regardless. Shit. Yeah. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get one, whatever. So yeah, I saw, so I caught one of the Geodudes because now I know I can finish Geodude for sure. Oh my god, like, I just saw my entire screen go black and I thought my computer crashed, but... No! Please don't! No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, but I don't know why that happened. Okay, we're good. Yeah. This, this is where I'm gonna hit my Agile style and Ember. So we actually over-finished Kulava here. Um, that's kind of a lazy burn because it's just slow. Glaceon healed burn. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay, Paris, I caught one. I don't know about you, Hulk, but I've been using like a catch tracker for a while just to kind of just remind myself where I'm at with catches. I think I've seen you do more, even though you think it's not necessarily okay. necessary. <laughs> you get you get there, bud. Yeah, my computer did crash. It just took a minute. Oh. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, amazing. Um, yeah, anyways, I was I was just saying I've got a catch tracker up on the side just to... It's basically my notes of, like, what I finished, what is yet to finish, and it's just all color-coded. Um, and while it is, like, Pokemon by Pokemon, again, it's not like Let's Go where there's, like, an exact requirement... So it's all very fluid because it, it's all based on the research points. And because it's so uh, fluid, that's why it does take a lot of thought to consider what exactly you want to do. Yeah. Hi, I'm on Cleavor. These are noble yeah, so battles. This is like um, the Dark Souls all, portion of the game. Yeah, all the bosses are going to be like action RPG battles. Turn based, like most of the But um, this one, there's a specific spot near the wall here where I can't get hit, and it's great. Uh, yeah, he brings his axe hand animation. like downward, and he actually can't hit you. Ah, I didn't take my input. My bad. Just you know, it's not a specific spot on the wall. It's just if you're up against it. Anyway. Oh, this, this is a very lame cleavor. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, so I keep telling him to throw out Pokemon, um, but that's actually slower than just throwing bombs. Because we mentioned that um, you know fighting and battles and turns are all slow, and that applies to these uh, noble battles as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, I just looked at the clock, and it's like, ah. Uh, Don't look at the clock. 
you're no, fine. Not my, <laughs> not my greatest area one. It look it looks it's probably good. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Uh, I, I mean, just had yeah, a run the other day where I was. Charlie, I got a. I, think I got a uh, 101 you, low the other day, leaving area one. By the way, don't forget to evolve that Starly. That's and the Wurmple. Yeah, so you're, you've done two ev two extra evolutions that you're not used to doing. You've already finished Beautifly. Um, you've got so a I'm, lot of things that like you're not used to having done yet. <laughs> right. So the time looks bad, but I'm gonna get paid. Like, I'm gonna get paid back later. Yeah, just by not having to do stuff later. That's what I meant it's earlier when I said um. This is not like a traditional speedrun where each split's time losses and time gains are independent. Uh, every area depends on every other area. Because if you have a fast area, that means you probably didn't do much. And you have to do that in another area. So this fin this also finishes Star Avia. Mm hmm Yep, sweet. So uh, yeah, so I'm definitely head on, I'm definitely head on research. <laughs> All right, well, that's area one. I hope everybody got a nice little, you know, appetizer for how this game works, because we're going to do more of that, and it only gets more difficult. Uh, none of those Geodudes were heavy, unfortunately. Super... Cool. Badoof is done. Okay, I'm back Bob on my computer. Done. Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't notice any drop in your on your audio quality. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, at this point, yeah. we can kind of smooth sail for a bit because I think T-Fat knows what he's doing in the next area. Um, yeah, and I I've, I have ado adopted my strats to be closer in line with yours, or at least mm -hmm. what I think are your strats. <laughs> you always change them on me, so... <laughs> this game is I... alive. This game is alive with so many different, like, strats and just ways to get from point A to point Z. I mean, when the game came out, everyone was always making fun of us because our route changed every three days. And honestly, the for the, the last... Wednesday route! <laughs> <laughs> For the last two years, it's been mostly stagnant, like with little changes here and there, luckily. Uh, and no, like, it's all theory, it's all personal preference, which is great. To check my stun items, to which I have four and zero. Like, I don't know, I guess for the moment I can talk about like why I love this game so much. I've never felt more freedom to express myself in a, in a Pokemon game before. You can literally do anything you want. You can do anything you want in this game. You can um, do anything you want in this game. Like, and you're only limited by your own, you know, ability to, like, dig in and do stuff. And, like, you know, your own knowledge. There's, so the more you learn, the more you know, the better you're off you are. I th You know, we, we also joked right away that, like, a lot of the PMD runners uh, were actually quite good at this game. And I'm not sure why the skill, like, like the skill comparison. Yeah, it was... Yeah, like that. It's not like, here's a stagnant route, now just ex execute it really good. Like, the game rewards just pure game knowledge. Like, yeah, that's a major factor of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like, before I ran Arceus, I ran Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for eight years. So, like, I definitely know what it takes to succeed there. And it's definitely just the ability to adapt to awful situations. And just knowing and playing to your outs is really important for PMD and that and all of that applies here which is why me and Shady were so dominant in the beginning because we both came from PMD all right evolving the cascoon at night because uh because dust talks has a task associated with being caught at night um and if you don't evolve it at night you don't get that task now t only has to catch one dust talks in Cobalt Coastlands if he wants to complete that research yeah, it's a bad catch. Please move. <laughs> yeah, more points for research. Yeah, he had 2,300 points, which is quite a bit. Yeah, he only needs 1,800 to get out. <laughs> yeah, I think the most really, overlapped with really in good. an 80% run is 2,540. And that's, like, disgusting. Uh, by the way, just remind me in Area 3 to catch the unknown. Oh yeah, I mean I'm not gonna just 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 remind me, you know the no, little I things. Will. 
I will not do that because you are probably going to be three points now. I you want are probably Tpat. Listen to me. You are probably going to be losing your mind during that moment. The last thing you want to hear from me is, "Hey, divert your attention, turn around, and catch this thing." I already envision how that's going to go. Just strap in, chat. Strap in. It's it's going to be fun. Like I said, this not, game only not... gets progressively more challenging from a skill level pr uh, threshold through the first four areas. That's and not this an run insult. will that get more hardest, chaos. That is the hardest part of the run. Hands down. Get, get, get free 20 points. Okay, Ginther, go. <laughs> Ginther. I almost said Gunther. Uh, Scatterbergs. Yeah, that's the only thing there is really worth anything. Uh, this is actually the earliest possible Scatterbangs you can obtain. It's not because, oh, we didn't do a lot of research. You could be ranked six by the time you leave Fieldlands, whatever. I've seen keys get to like rank 9.99999. Uh, you, um, you do not get the recipe for Scatterbangs until you beat Lillian. So you actually cannot craft them yourself. And getting uh, them is the only way. So that whole thing about money, I didn't have any Stardust to sell, so... I mean, yeah. it sounds like you got all the things you need to buy, right? Yeah, because I don't buy berries anymore. Because you told me not to buy berries anymore. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah, fact. But that's why I like, did go out of my way to hit that berry tree like a couple more times. And now I have basically as many berries as I would have anyways. Yes. Uh, yeah, Scatterbangs can, makes uh, some things kind of funny here. I'm going to make sure to put a little note on Krogunk. Because that's kind of the one thing that you can do in Area 2 with Scatterbangs that you would not normally be able to do. Friendly reminder, that shop is RNG, everybody. Uh, Ginther sells like a, a semi-random three items to you for on the, on the cheap. Like those are on sale. They're almost on clearance, in fact. And to have, to see Scatterbangs is actually really good. He can also sell you like a 30 pack of Pokeballs or heavy balls. He can sell you stealth sprays. Uh, and yeah, scatterbangs and is, mushroom cakes and all that, like, you can sell very good items. The important thing is, you know, giving a, giving you 30 puzzle walls doesn't mean much. The fact is, he sells you them for half of what it would have cost you to get them yourself from, from another source. Yeah, that's clear, like, right? literally half the cost, which is crazy. All right, that's good. I got two uh, quick attacks from the Shinx, so I will almost certainly get the third on the Volo fight. You are not slower than Togepi. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. There, it is possible. Um, you have to be like pretty low speed though, and it looks like I think if you got if you didn't get two quick attacks there, you might have been slower than Togepi, just because um, that's just how the action speeds work. Uh, but yeah. All right, deep breath, because this yeah, is this is that. really where it gets <laughs> it, it starts going. Uh, so you did yeah. mention that. Krogunk is the only thing we could do with Scatterbangs, but I'm actually going to suggest something else. Uh, on the beginning of day two, set it to evening. Oh, and? By the time you finish Lilligant and warp back, the gases are going to be here. Hey, that's a that's a good idea. And that's what Scare 3 and, or no, Scare 4 catch 1. Mm -hmm. I know that because I got it in my last run in Area 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't craft Pokeballs? Nah. Okay. I don't think it's one way or the other. I, yeah, I don't think it's super worth it. I would rather have my resources. Yeah. I just hope the Cuz I I don't throw at, mean. Yeah, and I I don't throw at it as many like random things as you do. So I kind of conserve on pokeballs a little bit that way. Not that that's like correct or anything. It's just like it's just like it's one less mental strain to remember to be like, "Oh yeah, there's a a combi over there." So if I remember beauty, it in the moment, I'll, I'll get it, but... <laughs> the beauty of this run, and honestly, I think what gives a lot of people frustration, is there's not very many things that are objectively correct. Um, like I said, you can do anything you want to in this game. There's things we've measured down to be the fastest things to finish research-wise, like, you know, just like, you know, just raw timing. But, like, there's no reason you have to do these things. Like, you know, if you are not comfortable with Progunk, you don't have to do Progunk. If you're not comfortable with, uh, you know, Teddy or Sub entirely, you could choose not to do it and just do something else later. Well, like, there's probably well, like 54, am... probably like, there's over 50 things you can finish research on, and you only need like 38 to 39 of them completed. Uh, remind me what I need for Krogonk anyways with the scares. 
Um, so it depends. Uh, if you catch two and they're opposite genders, scare five. Or scare four, catch four. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I, I have it at written in my notes, but I think that's written in my area four notes, so I don't know why. I don't want to scroll that far down. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. I it's either 2-5, two, five, yeah, two, five, two gender, 4-4, four, four, um, and the ghastly is 4-1. Uh, with the ghastly, would you like it if I kind of take took it like a little, like crouch, got kind of slow, or got into that grass area? I would like you to actually save a stealth spray. Try to, to save a stealth spray for the end. To do that. Okay. I I definitely always have a stealth spray saved. There's there's no way that I, I mean Krogunk might put a hamper on that, but hopefully not. Eh, no, I mean I'll I'll get it. Oh, focus on these guys first. Yeah. That was the lowest level sure. side I could have gotten. It's okay. I always go for two anyways. Uh, that is correct. I will say that is correct. In yeah. my opinion. Because <laughs> it is all opinion at the end of the day. Uh, I did get that one, and that was 18. Nice. Oh! Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just go. Just go. Get in one uh, I need a... No, I need to stun him anyways. Okay. Because that's a second stun, but I'm gonna go now. Right, but you have to run back this way anyway to get back to the slicing runes. And you don't need it for this immediate fight. Better work out. Can you get that? That Paris is like low level. It's like the only thing that's up there that's actually a low level. Yep, I don't know why. I got it. Like, okay, literally everything up. else that spawns <laughs> next to that Raichu is level 40 minimum. The but only the thing Paris. up there is Paris. Yep. Even the Pichus spawn at level 40. <laughs> yeah, that's a... By the way, that's a nice little detour that we do because there are the leaf piles. The leaf piles are our best chance at getting stun items, which are the spoiled apricorns, uh, which you get out of the leaf piles at a pretty good clip. Uh, I also have at least one mud ball. Uh, I have acquired a mud ball, thankfully, so I have that populated in my inventory. Uh, stun items start getting really, really important because uh, it's good research tasks, and it's a great catch multiplier as well. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, in my last run, uh, Agile did not combo the Toxic Rogue. Yep, that's why I either recommend catching two side or leaving Shings here. Yep. That's why I always go for two, so I can just leave the side up. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's not... At level 17, I think if it's... Even if it's, like, right neutral speed, one e or zero EL, like, it could be... It could not hit that speed threshold. Because the reason that happens is because its speed is just not meeting the next threshold. Because I realized recently, like, you know, people thought that it was, like, RNG, like, you know, massively RNG, like, whether a Beautifly... Uh, getting two turns on you meant anything or not like after you've caught one or killed one but no like i looked into it and like if you have 31 speed this is your action speed value if you have 81 speed this is your action speed value yeah they and it, it, it lumps it into like just brackets yeah yeah speed brackets exactly that's the best way to say it oh, that was a nice Ah, that one saw me. Yeah, Shame, there's a big boy too. That's fine. Oh well, that's... That one was the female, by the way, to the left that we didn't get. Just in case you needed to, like... I think it's pretty visible once you know it's No, I, I got the... <laughs> uh, I do have Cricketot finished, thank you yeah. very much, but I know yeah. you really wanted to flex your ability to tell what genders things are without oh, even yeah. having to lock on. By the way, if you lock on to a Pokemon, it gives its little information in like the bottom left, so you can see its level and gender anyways. But Mr... I was gonna say, I recommend doing that for Krogunk, just to make sure you don't have... just to help you not have to catch four. Right, so, like, yeah. And that yeah, is something look I, I look at, um, especially when it comes to like the Gligars later. I do, mm -hmm. like I physically will like lock on and be like, female. Man. I would say, I'm, I'm even gonna like, tell you to skip Pachirisu, just to help you save the, 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 the yeah, stealth spray. spray. Yeah. Uh, if you're doing okay. Krogan, you I usually am I usually just in the grass for, um, 
Okay, cricket tune section. Yeah, so after you catch the teddy ears, just run off the front of that little platform and just oh. you're in, you're like right in there in the weeds of the cargoings. Barris. Yeah. Uh, that one also broke up. Oh, it didn't sort. That's okay because my balls were in the right spot, anyways. Ah, that wasn't back straight, but you didn't see me. Oh, that one fell oh, that asleep. One, that one fell. That's so sick. That makes that's like the best action state for a catch rate. Yeah, so do the Teddy Ursus and then run off the front. Run towards the left here. Run towards the left? Yeah, like towards where those combies are. Just run off that side of the platform. Uh, uh, wait, left. wait, I didn't... Yeah. yeah, left. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, left. And... Don't, yeah. don't, you're done with Cricketot. Left. Or 15 okay. left. Okay. Yes, so you're just done. keep going. Yes, you're still on oh, a stealth yeah, yeah. Okay. You want it to be for Krogo. Skybangs. They're over there. To the, they're, they're much farther to the left here, like in the in the ponds. I would scare these ones and then catch them uh, one after you jump over the river. You catch them across the river. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're, you're good. Go off. Go. Okay, and then I should be good on that one. Okay. Yeah. So that's scare five. Yeah. So now you need to catch a male and a female, or four. And I would pop another okay. stealth right now. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, I can evolve the Paris now. Which I'll yeah, do because I am in the menu and I might as well do it. <laughs> yes, and because we're withdrawing Wormpole to uh, fight Garita and the double person. Okay. I'm unmarking Pachi Yes, I remember that. Good riddance. Okay. Male and female. Perfect. Now, Mail. the stealth spray is a gift and a curse. Because, um, you know, they don't Email. hear you. I would, I, would, I would stay for that. It's in. Alright, cool. We're, we're good. I tried that Geodude didn't aggro. Okay. I think they like beans. Uh, he saw me, but I like. Yeah, beans are okay, I think, but in the moment I was. Oh, you're, that, that, that one doesn't smell it, does it? Uh, no, this one was just not hungry. The hell? Oh, that was a naughty eater. That's bullshit. Oh, yeah, this I'll one was the one that ate. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Okay, right, whatever. I'll He's eating sure now. Good. Better late than never. Good. Lead, uh, Carnivine. You got pretty good levels. Ooh, I think I need one more. Don't worry about it. Worry about it. Get in, get in Highlands, Highlands, Highlands. It's guaranteed catch in Highlands. They're oh, all mad. Okay, yeah. They are literally right there, guaranteed catch in Highlands. I know, I was like and holding now, my breath, and I'm and like, why? Now, the other one's not gonna end. No! Okay. And now, and because works. that one because that one that's closest to this fight aggroed, you're gonna have to run away to be aggro so you can warp. Yeah, my bad. That's fine. My bad! Okay, no Pachirisu, what? but I did finish Krogon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the five scares, which I definitely saw on the top left, and you caught two genders, which I definitely I might also saw. have Paris done as well. It, it, it might. I don't. I don't think you have okay. four. But we can work on that tomorrow. All right, and I have stunned two Carnivine. It's we usually what's just stun three, and it's yes. good. Yes, well, some three and it's good, or we will just see if it's finished right now. <laughs> I don't want to see you. Uh... No, it's gonna die. Okay, so um, twenty-three. Uh... Oh my! Yeah, I just picked them. Oh, yeah, it worked out. It's fine. I just did the one at the shorter inputs. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, like okay, so I guess we never talked about the damage one though. Um, the it's damage formula in this game is, is stupid. And the reason I was so adamant on him going with level 23 Psyduck is that is a massive difference. It uh, is, nothing matters more in the damage formula than the Pokemon's level. Yep, the, the in fact, it is level. 30 times more important than the attack stats. Yep. 
Because, 30 uh, where, times. Where in the same part of the formula where the attacking stat is multiplied by 0.1, the level is multiplied by 3. 30. Math, everybody. Do it. Just do it for once in your life. <laughs> just, also, I, can just, I can just imagine you, like, holding up a big whiteboard of, like, the the, the damage formula, a la Corvume style. Just... <laughs> Yeah, Corvme commentated my AGDQ run, but I don't think she was willing to learn the damage formula for this game. I don't blame her. <laughs> it is, it is a little weird. Um, but the good news is, like, again, we're doing really good on research. I might only have to catch like one Paris, maybe. Uh, I have to just evolve the Wurmple, but that's coming with me in um, the the area. I don't know if you can warp yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. There we go. Okay, uh, so when you come back here, uh, said it's evening. Right. Because that gives you time, or I mean, gives me time, uh, definitely to get to at least to the Rhyhorns. Uh, I yeah. get night. Yeah, I can make it. I can make uh, it to Rhyhorns before uh, nightfall for sure. Yeah. Because it's like only it's evening's only two minutes. Yeah, and that's going to be important for later. The fact that it's only two minutes for a segment that. T-Pat knows how to do during the evening and isn't doing for the first time right now in front of 176 people. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't think you finished Teddy Ursa, but did you at least catch two of them? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Uh, I did not I did not finish Teddy. You were correct on that. Right, because uh, the Ursa Ring ate the third food. So you can back that up by evolving it or... Um, I think evolving it's a good call because then I just get the bonus points for Ursarine, and then I am available to scatterbang it in area four for some extra mm -hmm. points. Yeah. This yeah, so is unfortunately a very. This checkpoint here in Jubilife is one of the shorter ones. Yes, yeah, so you don't get a lot of time to think and strategize right now. Yeah, I'm going to, like, try to peek at where my research is very quickly. Uh, in fact, didn't even load correctly. I mean, I can tell you, you definitely need to catch at least one more Paris. Because I know you don't have four. Yeah. Yep, I, I haven't finished it yet. Um, you only need one more stun on Carnivine. I don't know how you're doing on Psyduck. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, Psyduck stun. Okay. Easily. So if you have any honey, uh, feed that to the Badoo. Just save uh, yourself Paris, some I am at... Uh, you're gonna laugh. Hmm. I've caught one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, okay, honey, honey for the Badoos. Yes. Correct? Yes. Because, like, you know, they like it, and you, not everything does, and it's better Come than me. Oh, you forgot to set evening. That's fine. Did you hit it in the head? Did you not stealth spray? I, I, I did not stealth spray. Okay. Uh, throw the berry. Throw the, the honey, I mean. it's it'll, it'll eat it. I would stealth spray now. Oh my god. So we're gonna we're gonna press up on the D-pad. Thomas, we're gonna press up on the D-pad. And stealth spray. And we're going to stealth spray. Yes. Because there's no reason not to, and it helps with Tangela. Okay. Uh that was the carnivine he could have stunned, that's fine. I can get the one up top. Yeah, no worries. Oh, I like to feed the Tangles raspberries just because they're kind of assholes. Sorry, uh, jerks. <laughs> yeah. As long as you catch two of them here, you can catch the third one in uh, the beginning of Cobalt Coastlands. You are. Oh, we can. There you go. He didn't see you. That's fine. He, uh, he didn't see you. You're on Silspray. 
He might have seen you there at the end, actually. But it's okay. You got two. Uh, the two I dig it. All, I dig it all three, though. I dig. I don't think calls. you. I don't think you need three unspotted. I did forget. This. I guess. I guess I could just set night. At the no, end. I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, Let's do it. Okay. Well. Okay. It was just a cute little strat we could have shown off, but it's not the end of the world. It's fine. It's fine because I wasn't used to it. And like we've been kind of saying, like the process, the brain processing power has a limit. And to try That's to true. process something completely new w did not compute with my hands. And and that's perfectly fine. Uh, so Tangle is good. Uh, you only needed two unspotted and you got two unspotted, even if the third one saw you. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. Uh, did you finish Cricket Team? Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you told me definitely because I didn't even have to go for the. Well, other one. I would target one if you see one to make sure. Cause I was just kind of saying words. No, I'm definitely done with it. Okay. Because cool. I I checked research. Okay, perfect. Because what you um, just told me was you thought you were done because I told you. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I say things. <laughs> Not always true. No, I I did check. Okay, we're good. Okay, so T-Pat made a little veer off to the side there. Very, very important. Uh, he unlocked the Diamond Settlement as a warp point, which is going to be very important uh, two hours from now, or an hour, an hour and a half from now. Please give me more stun items. I have exactly zero on me at the moment. Uh, I would save these Pokeballs for Paris. I think I was shaking. No, it wasn't okay. Uh, it was not? But what I am going to do is... Uh, I am going to go get this other one. Oh God, brother. Ah! Sorry, I got I got totally turned around. That's fine. There's plenty of fire spots left. Over to the left. I, did, I was... Here, to the left here. Yeah. Oh, never mind, they're, they're parasites. Okay. They are all parasites. Cool. All right. All right. Instead, I'm just gonna finish farming the. There's another uh, spot leaf. here to the left. Yeah, uh, there's at least yeah. one Paris, but oh, uh, right Weirdeer, Weirdeer did not handle that very well. Do not uh, blame I, this on my dear friend. No, <laughs> I, I was holding left, and he like uh -huh. banked to the right, and I'm like, no, no, no that's not, not that way. <laughs> that's not the direction I was holding. I was probably angled to the right, but holding left, and obviously by mounting, you get a like an initial gallop, and yeah, yeah, that's what happened. I hear you, but at the same time, Weirder is beautiful and perfect. Weirder is absolutely beautiful and perfect, and I agree. There was a, mm. there was just a miscommu. We had a miscommunication moment. It's my favorite it like, bike. It was like, hey, buddy. <laughs> it is my favorite I, bike I, in the series by far. I was, I was like, I wanted to go left and you wanted to go right, but then the Paris saw me and I still only own one Paris. And, yeah. I remember when you got started, um, when Shen was running this game, like near the launch or like the month after launch, like he had his, uh, he had his, he had a split for getting weirder and he had it called bike. Bike. Then like his leaving Obsidian Field then split was this tech keys in like 150 hours or whatever. <laughs> he sure did. Yeah, so he's actually doing this very, very well. Um, yeah, I kind of messed up the like Lilligan's first attack because I backed up a little too far and I actually kinda, missed twice. Right now, Lil Lilligan is impervious damage. I mean, we kind of glossed over it in the first fight, but that's the reason he's like throwing upwards and not directly at Lilligan is um, it's it's you know impervious to damage. So what he's doing is throwing bombs that basically just getting hitbox out hitboxes out there yeah, to land on like, Lilligan. Like um, that, I was in an I was in an awkward situation. I missed and I took damage. Whatever. Yeah. So what in the when the boss's ha uh, HP goes under half, um, it will do like what we call a rage shout. And while it's rage shouting, it isn't it is impervious to damage. So rather than sitting there and waiting for it to stop, you throw bombs upwards uh, to where they will land on the boss after they're done shouting, so that they'll take the damage. So it takes time to throw every bomb, so you're basically just throwing them in advance for damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, uh, I've. Uh... 
Well, I've been streaming. Um, Albi has been in my chat a lot, and Albi has been doing a lot of the IR levels. And yeah, Albi's been better than me at the ILs. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, the some of the IL well. strats I like wouldn't even have thought of. It's just like there are even like like when Lilligant like slams down, there's actually like some invincibility like right in the middle, and it's just like oh or no like the wave like the the pulse wave. You can stand basically directly on Lilligant, and it can't hit you. And I didn't think of like so, stuff like that. Yeah, so I've known about being able to step out of the Lilligant splash puddle for about a year and a half at this point. I am just way too lazy to implement it. <laughs> I'm I'm just too scared. I have to like it I have might to, like, save specifically me. Try the ILs. I think it might save me three seconds, and that is not worth relearning the entire fight for. <laughs> when that can improve at so many other things, you have to pick your battles in, the, in any percent. You have to pick what what to improve on, what's worth it, what's not worth it. Alright, in this case we are. Maybe if I was maybe if I was learning the game today. Um, yeah. Maybe if I was learning the game today, I would start learning it with that uh strategy in mind. Sorry, a turbo moment. Ah, I only caught two Rhyhorns. Uh you can get the third one in the next area. At least you got the three stuns. Yeah, I'm only a little annoyed because I was running out of stun items and I was running out of heavy balls. And I'm really low on uh, Pokeballs as well. How would you like me to handle that? Well, you caught seven. Okay, so you have a Ginter refill. I would go check yeah. Ginter now. Yeah, I'm going to check you Ginter literally, first. You literally exactly got it because you caught 13 on the first day, seven on the second. <laughs> so, thank God. Ginter's Please inventory Pokemon. refreshes when you catch 20 new Pokemon from the last time you refilled. Uh, uh, grain Hobo cakes, grain, berry. grain. Wait. Uh, what wait, what about, about the Hobo berries? Do not buy the Hobo berries. You're fine. Okay. Just the grain cakes? Grain. Yeah, grain. Because okay. honey is kind of worthless. You've passed the point where honey's helpful. You have nine. Oh, all right. Uh, you're fine. Um, 30, and I need, yep. Uh, do math. <laughs> yeah, uh, I usually I like the this. So I know, but you have no money for the great ball materials now. But you didn't uh, craft any Pokeballs like I normally would. So you do have like a bunch of red apricorns. I, I right? disagree. I didn't press the B button. I hmm. pressed A, then B. Yeah. But the problem with the turbo controller, I assume you're using the 8 ultimate. Yep. Um, is that when you have turbo enabled on a button, you have to be holding it for a certain amount of time before it'll even register the first input. So where you think you pressed A and then pressed B, you did. But as far as the controller is concerned, you kind of it was a little more like staggered than that because you know the A button took a little bit of time to kick in. All right, stun items three and zero. Uh, Golduck is looking not good. Oh, for area Goldberg. four. Goldberg sucks. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna softly drop Golduck from the plan. Good riddance. Yeah, I just I just need more Pokeballs. Okay, so the bean. Well, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how many we're gonna see how many uh, great balls I'm gonna craft because I typically pick up a good amount of materials. I'm usually a little short on red tumble stones. Yeah, plenty. Because you didn't craft bubbles. You have like twenty something. Okay. It better be mid to upper 20s and not like 21. So you're in luck. The only... Oh, wait, no, you but they're pretty cheap. Um, okay, so the only things that will not eat grain cakes are Tangela, Badoo, and Dusclops. Okay, so not the Dusclops, but everything else I am... Yeah, literally everything else in this area you'd want, you would want to feed. Um, you would. I, don't, I wouldn't feed them to uh, Glamio, though. Just throw, throw beans at Glamio. Yeah. They're, they're not worth the... Cakes. Yeah, the, the the catch bonus. Yeah, like they're not, they're literally non issues. Uh, would you recommend I grab after I grab Worm, uh, die to Irida here with Wormple that I grab the Geo dudes and try to no just evolve two to have them done for this, yeah, if area? this area. If this area goes poorly, you could withdraw them at the beginning of Coronet. Okay, but I don't think it's worth like committing super hard to right now. Now keep in mind you did not catch Pachirisu, so I don't want you to see. I don't want you to go looking for it later. Um, honestly, it. I got lucky in my world record. I finished Pentacle without 
killing it. Um, but I was only going for two catches because just catching the two unspotted is 80 points. Hmm. So like, but I happen to get two light specimens also. Oh, and that finished <laughs> you it. just got it. That's funny. yeah. But like, I was fine <laughs> without that. Well, but it's well. just it's really funny that like you can that you can just finish it without the kill. Um. So recently, I've just just not get even lucky, bringing, forehead. Well, I've just not even been bringing an electric type to Firestone Island because like so there's usually other things I want to bring. Like you're probably going to bring Teddy Ursa too to, to evolve it. Yeah. All right, we talked to this guy because he sells us the crafty, like, Pokeball crafting materials. It's super useful. Um, yeah. Yeah, because, like, you might think this cutscene is kind of slow to watch. You don't have to watch it. But, like, every time you jump off Weird Ear to, like, break a Tumblestone ore, um, it takes time. Um, I will... Uh, okay. Okay, I should be good. Yeah. Uh, you can get more Ooh. iron in the area. Yeah. Yeah, I usually like mid to upper twenties worth of great ball, and I'm just short on iron. That's mm -hmm. that's fine. Question oh, yeah, mark. Doing, I just realized you're not doing cliff climb. Probably. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not a strat I do because I still go I up towards the growlets. I don't blame you. It's it's really hard. Oh, you can do growlets. Yes, I'm I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going for growlets because no, I, need, I still, um, I still so need a little I want bit of consistency. You, yeah, so I want hey, you, you to run. Hey, you told me you could just do whatever you want in this game and you I can. choose to get um, growlets. Right, but you can do machop as well. Uh, you're going to run to the right first, stun two machops, catch them both, and yep. then run to the left and go up to to growlets so you can finish machoke yeah. and machop. That's what I do. That's already part of your strat? Yep. That's what Perfect. I do. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what Kitamura does too, so it's not like top players aren't advocating for this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing the cliff climb where the it's the wisp. It's that wisp literally sucks, dude. That was my least favorite wisp in all of Catch em All. It is literally just me and maybe Blood Dirk that's doing it. And maybe truly. I don't I don't know if truly did it or not. I thought I saw him do it once. I know he knows how to do it, but I don't know if he did it in his PV. I can, I can do okay, he, it. He if did. I... He, I like. I was like scrubbing through his video, and I like looked at like the bottom bar on YouTube, and I, I saw him like on the cliff. I'm like, oh yeah, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. So yeah, probably okay. three people at most do it, and it's not fully. I don't, I don't know. It's only worth it if you're really, really cracked at it. Uh just, just gentle remind me to just just get a few irons along the way. Mm -hmm. They are just laying around on the ground. I don't know if there's any ores that specifically drop them, like if they're the black ores. Now, every um, colored ore has a chance to drop iron, but um, only like the giant rocks and crimson like drop 100% iron. There is iron just on the floor. Like I was mentioning the cliff climb because there is a piece of iron just sitting on the ground on one of those cliffs. That yeah. I always try to there, pick up. There's one on the way back. It's near the Alpha Machoke. Mm -hmm. um, I just need to. I just need to be conscious to pick up the iron where I see it. So um, the next because those few extra great balls are going to matter in this section. When you stealth spray for Growlithe, I want you to evolve your Wormpool as well, because by then you should definitely be level ten or level seven. Mm. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, use Poison Sting if you... I don't think you have another choice, but Poison Sting is research. For... Wormhole. Right now. Oh, if, if I... You get, if... I don't think okay. it has another move, so I don't think you have a choice. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I, yeah, don't I got think... baby No, so the reason we would usually bring... Oh, oh no, <laughs> strong style cook attack, baby. Oh, uh, my God. The Eevee. <laughs> so... Uh, so T-Pat's initial plan was to bring Starly here um, because Starly has the lowest defense of anything that we caught on the first day at low levels. Uh, Wurmple actually has more defense, so that's why I was surprised that it actually did that and killed because not well, only is that it, not a minimum level Wurmple, it also has more defense than Starly. So, Well, that's why the Eevee went for Strong Style because it saw, oh, I can kill with Strong Style. Well, it usually goes for Strong Style on Star Starly as well, in my experience. Incredible. 
That's fantastic. Say the line, T-Pat. That's never happened before. <laughs> yeah, you've probably never brought Wurmple in this fight. Ah. That's true. You definitely never brought Wurmple in this fight before. Okay, there's two spoiled. Right. Yep. Right. The only thing is with only one Pokemon in the party, I actually have to wait till I get Wurmple back. Uh, two more, that is great. Oh, uh, right. Another right, one. one on the right. Oh, never mind. You passed it. Oh, damn. I'm just looking out for the Tumblestone little ores. I'm gonna use Pokeballs here because I want to conserve agree. Pokeballs for I now. I agree with this. Sorry. Uh, don't, don't... Uh, okay, you don't have to go this. Let's go. Let's go uh, I was go just looking for, I was looking for Machoke, of which there are none. Yeah. You didn't need to catch three and stun, and stun three, by the way. I, I went for the third as just a back one. Oh, you didn't have room in your bag for the iron, by the way. Don't go I back will... for it. Do not go back for it. It is not worth okay. one iron. I should make just room the for next it at time, some point, throw, throw that po Throw the Pokeball. Ugh. Okay. Throw your throw last Pokeball. Pokeball. All right, now break that blue iron. Blue tumble soon. Never mind. Um... Sorry, I was too focused on this idiot. That's okay. You should let idiot who's boss. I get it, and I caught it. Okay. Boom. I don't think I'm in this hangman game, by the way. I would not. Yeah, yeah would not so what the, the joke is, like, the last three Let's Go runs uh, that have been on this channel, uh, the person doing the run won hangman. Hmm. Uh, I got Cascoon, so Cascoon finished. Yeah, Cascoon is just done now. That's good, because well, actually, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I hope it hears that one. Uh, I have a mushroom to Don't use. feed all green cakes, by the way. Beans are fine, or orange berries fine, too. Okay, now go catch the one that that was on the green. Go, go, go catch it now, it's not a permanent buff. Oh. The, the raspberry is the permanent buff, that's not... Okay, as long as it gets in, it's fine. Okay. I don't know if the, the other guy left eight, but if you catch two and spot it, that's fine. Did you catch the other one? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, you're good. Cool. Right, I'm Are there not... Parasocks here? Parasocks again. Oh, there's one spot you didn't uh, check at the back. I'm going to just quickly rush. I'm going to go around the beautiful eye this way. Okay, good, Vulpix, I see. Uh, hold on. We're just gonna we're gonna use raspberry. Don't throw. Yeah. Okay. Good call. Yeah, because that glam is gonna smell that oh. other berry first. Yeah. It's it'll get to it. It's fine. I would not sit here and feed Volpix to completion. Uh, I, I mean, so you can feed it again certainly, but I don't think it's worth catch feeding to completion. Okay, the Volpix was already guaranteed to get him, and now it's like Omega guaranteed. Okay, so that's three. Oh, far. Yeah, now What's I just need one. one. Okay, the bottom one was a glam. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Yeah. With the amount of great balls you have, I would have preferred if you did feed four catch one on the glam. Yeah. yeah. So waste that many balls. Okay, so you, you, and Volpix. Um, I'm not oh. sure if you have any iron in your bag because the one iron you tried to pick up goes in room for. No, that's what I'm. But, but I'm, like, I'm like starting to like dread, and like stress but, out a little. But hang because, on, like, hang on, hang on. Listen to me. When you warp back after turning in the dust clops to, to Iskin, you could then craft. So just try to get iron into your bag while you're doing the evening segment. Okay. Because you have like 15 balls left, which is plenty for this next segment. Okay. So we've been kind of alluding to this segment the entire game, but this is the hardest two minutes of the run. This, if I look visually stressed, it is because of this upcoming section of the game. You just dread it for this whole time, and then it's and then it's here. Yeah. So there's four Pokemon or five, I guess, that you are required to catch in the game: the three trial Pokemon, the legendary, and a Dusclops to progress the story here. Uh, everything else is completely optional. Um, because for some reason, only Dusclops can make 
food spooky enough for Basque Legion to enjoy. I don't know. But um, Desktops only spawns at night. Um, and we don't want to just set night and go over there and with nothing else to do. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set evening right now, and we're going to complete as much as we can. We're essentially right now on an auto-scroller. There is two minutes from right now to when it will become nighttime. T-Pad is going to come down to the beach and do the spiels, um, and then proceed like towards the Dusclops, maybe do Togepi. Did you already sell spray? Oh, I did not. Oh, that's a bummer. My right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so while they're eating, uh, you, I don't know where you're crouch walking now after you've still sprayed, but um, yeah. Yeah, there's a red tumble stone behind you. Oh, red tumble stone behind it was, me. It was I, of course, feels. It feels. It's right next I, to the feels. I am going to reset and evening because I have felt like I've done a really poor job. It's right there. It's literally right there on your oh, screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to reset evening because I've done so bad. Yeah, it's fine. Go for it. That I, I got, like, super flustered right away, and because of that whole clock thing, I actually think I'm just was literally going to be way too stressed out into this section. This is going to give me those 40 seconds back. Most of which I wasted, unfortunately. Yeah, now so, you can like you can like very comfortably do double togepi if you see it. Yeah. So let's get just okay. I'm gonna hit a couple tumble stones along the way too to try to get some ore. You're running directly into an alpha wall ring. I, I know, I know. By the way, these pop pods are required, and they're also like insanely expensive to buy later, so. Okay, there. I see a glowing tumblestone. I am beelining for this bad boy. That just means stars. Yeah, but I need money for the lead and ball buys. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, your stuff spray wore off. I know it was right at that moment. Here, we will just feed oh, you. Be, save, save a raspberry because you need it for dust clops. Matter of fact, you should you should feed the next Togepi a, a grain cake. All right, right. stealth, stealth. Now, yes. up. there you go. All right, next Togepi gets a grain cake, and it's definitely there because it's a guaranteed spawn. I would... Uh, that's fine. There's two Togepis. Get in the grass, T-Pad. That Stravia can see you. Okay. Uh, uh, that's fine. Okay. That should be, like, a very likely catch, but I don't think it's guaranteed. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, um, chat outs like grain cakes, too. Okay, luckily, it's not like a aggro Starly Evo. And it's good that you have extra grain cakes left over, because like I said, I mentioned Gen Mega earlier. Uh, you are more than welcome to uh, you know, feed one to Gen Mega. All right, see, I am kind of like right on top. Oh, if now. you want to do the... Oh, uh, here, I'm, just, I'm not going to catch extras because I want to conserve great balls, unfortunately. Yeah, so I guess we're not catching them anymore. Ooh, that's good. It's glowing. Oh, yeah, the unknown. Uh huh. It's up here, right? That was a nugget. Okay. That giant oh yellow ball next to you was a nugget. I am, I'm going to pick that up because, again, that's worth a lot. Well, it's okay. This raspberry is going to create a spot in your inventory. There you go. Now turn around and throw a scatterbang. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna ball? crap. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna. This is muscle memory. I know I have scatterbangs in my inventory. Yeah, you're what? good. Okay. All right. Spots. Oh, wait. Was All there right. even just pops? Or... Yeah, there was at least one. Uh, just I'm wait gonna scare. That one. Yeah. Good call. I agree. Don't tell me so that way, I agree. So that way, I don't need the stealth, right? Yes. You just need to get a catch now. And they're always gonna run away. Like, screw uh, I'm gonna I, sure I would hang around it. for that. There you go. That's good. Okay. I love the low bounce. Okay, yeah. You need one. You only need one dust tox. The best. The best news about this is that uh, I have the cascoon in my. Inventory. You're good. Go. 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 Okay, go. We are okay. done. Ooh. Uh, uh. Sorry. It was a Close. Oh yeah, um, hey. technically, yeah, technically, you could have just uh, if you didn't catch the dust talks, you could have just evolved. I could have just evolved here. 
Oh, I forgot. Satchel, to the hello. Oh, I, I didn't see it. I the time. Do you, do you want me to go no, back for it? No, Satchel left behind. No, <laughs> please do not. There you do go. That. See? <laughs> yeah, please. see, I got him. We got him, chat. Please cease and desist. Oh, they Good. didn't go in my inventory. That's fine. That's fine. You have grain fine. cakes. Because I have grain cakes. Yes. Shallow okay. See, I am. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad Head Bob was the hangman, by the way. Can we get Head Bob's audio? For what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Sure. I mean, but... Okay. All right. So we evolved you, uh, and I got Gasgun, I got Gasgun, and I got the Dust Call, and I got the Cheddar, and I got the Spiel. And I'm really glad I. Togepi. That's right, Togepi. I'm really glad I reset evening, not gonna lie. Yeah. That was the best decision I've made in a while. I think that was a good <clears> idea, <throat> yeah. Because it gave you more time to like guarantee the Togepi. And it, and it kind of really it, it, it definitely reset my flusteredness over the the it, you reset the, the time and your mental state. <laughs> yeah, that that ended up being very powerful. With one I'm gonna go evolve the chops now. Well Yes. After, After you give him his you. pops, yeah. Um, okay, so we're withdrawing. I'm gonna make a notepad right now. I usually I think I need to I need to bring Machoke. Yeah, one or actually uh Machoke, um, Chatta, Luxio, Dustox, Teddy. Machoke. What'd you say? Machoke, Dustox. Chat Teddy. Up. What else? Chatta. Luxio to try to go for Tenta. Um, okay. Well, yeah, okay. That's fine. I don't think there's anything else you want to bring. Uh, maybe I don't go for attentive because, again, I don't, I like no great balls. <laughs> we're we're going to see how many I can actually get here well, in a moment. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff. I think you can make plenty. As long as your apricorns are good. Yeah, apricorns, it's, uh, it was, I was short on iron was my limiting factor. Yeah, but you've been building up a lot of Iron and red tumblestone, but I don't know how many. How many apricorns? Yeah. So that may be what limits you now as well. Uh, what do you want that fifth slot to be if it's not Luxio? I think Luxio's fine. Okay. Machoke, Dustbox, Teddy, Chatter. I mean, if you don't want it to that's, be Luxio, you can bring Picks. Yeah, because you can do the Machoke. Machoke anyways. Well, you can do the Machoke move on the water and just use Vulpix to just. Completely murk uh, a bomb of snow. We're gonna... Your choice. Uh, I got ten. Hooray. That's plenty. That's plenty. That's great. Okay, what? I, I'm just gonna do what I told myself I was gonna do. Okay. Chat hot. Uh, dust dust stocks. Uh, Lux, Luxio. Uh, Luxio. Left. Is... No, no, right. Sorry. Top past your two. There you go. Um, and the Teddy. Then, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, I yeah, did that pretty sure... good. That's, like, that's a very awkward party manage, but... So I don't know if you were actually paying attention to this, but it was actually very important for you to... Well, actually, I don't think you got the best chat out, potentially. Um, because your chat out's only level 29. So Air Cutter's actually gonna be in slot 2. Okay. Uh, but... I don't know if you were looking at the levels for anything, but you needed a minimum 27 level Teddy Ursa uh, to be able to evolve it here. Okay. And you did bring that, 27, so. Uh, okay. That's, that's stuff I didn't have in my notes. So it was very like off the cuff, just like, grab this stuff. Yeah, because the Teddy Ursas in the last area spawned at 26 through 29. So literally only 26 is the level you cannot use to bring here. That won't because it, it's level thirty. Yeah, evolve. it's level thirty to evolve, and it just doesn't get enough experience. Even with like going for tenth yep. pool and like some yep. finions, like it just. Oh, yep. Man, that's so yep. Twenty seven. That's is fine. fine. That's fine. No, you brought you brought a twenty seven. You're fine. Okay, we're fine. Hey, well, how's just... my uh, moon state? Is that a uh, is that a waxing gibbous moon to you? I have no clue. You've, yeah, you've slept. Uh, you've slept one extra time, so I, I, the cycles are all off to me now. Yeah, it's uh, that's a waxing. I mean, I just know this from studying science that that's a waxing gibbous moon. I will take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Don't look at the time. Don't look at the time. It's under two hours. It's fine. It's fine. This moment is great. I'm not five minutes behind TV or whatever. Don't worry about it. You're doing great. (laughs) It's it's a good marathon run right now. Chat, are you having fun? Press one if you're enjoying PSR Marathon. It's a lot of ones. Um, (laughs) There we go. Don't, Don't worry. There's a delay, okay? Uh, by the way, shout outs to Tech. Uh, I know Fury has been doing like a lot for this. In fact, Fury was doing Tech for his own run previously. Like, woo! What I a legend. That is not fun. Uh, behind the scenes, uh, I, had, I had heard that the other people who can control Tech were like, yeah, we can actually like do like the split for time for fury however fury's looking at his notes on the computer that is being used to hit the time button and it's like we don't want to touch it because he's probably looking at the notes right now (laughs) yes this is the longest cutscene in the game this is three minutes um this is the bathroom break yeah of the run but yeah, I honestly like the whole marathon has been super duper fun. Uh, I've been telling a lot of like, not just like my coworkers, but like other gaming friends, especially those that like, uh, like TCG locals that like this marathon super fun because like it's a lot of people doing a lot of like really random stuff. Like who would have ever thought do Pokemon Rumble, but only with the do super uh, fun. That sounds like, I don't remember who's <laughs> running that, but it sounds like an RDA idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to presume that was RDA. Yeah, it was a lot, lot of good fun stuff. Right, we're going to go yeah, I just remember uh, I saw Shady and SPD Wolf go in the server, and I'm like, oh, there must be PMD on the schedule. <laughs> in fact, there was. Uh, yeah. you, are, you are correct about that. There was definitely PMD at the moment that <laughs> you referenced that. Uh, we do this in the water because uh, we actually get to stay on our ride Pokemon in the water. And, and uh, Basculation's speed when you're not holding B is not actually that slow. Uh, so, okay, you didn't bring Vulpix, never mind. I just kind of brought the normal stuff. Oh, hi, I'll, try to rem- I'll try to remind you when it matters that you have to pick slot 2 for Chatot. Yeah. Sort. There you go. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm way ahead of you, boss. Okay, and then the Grain Cakes? Grain cakes. Yep. You, you. Careful, it's gonna turn and look at you. Ah, I turned in the way I didn't expect it to. Well, Not you should have expected it to turn that way because that was the shortest direction I had to turn to look to get to the berry. I still got it, anyways. Yeah, I don't think it, it's oh. a slug. Dude. It's fine. You only need that, two um, unspotted catches. Okay. Uh, I would go for a catch on the other one just to be safe. Okay, I got it. Right. Okay, cool. I heard it. Um, don't do the kill. All right, question. time to LeBron James, okay? All right. Right, LeBron James hours. Good. Oh, you got a distortion. Huh. Wait. Hey, buddy. Let's fight. Oh, you front striked it. So it's probably I did front strike it. Especially with your slow Luxio. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Thunder Fang, right? Oh, yes. yeah, and I get two moves here. It's gonna, it's gonna die. Nice, okay. All right, well, that's, uh, that's good. Attempt uh, to catch this... two Finions. I wouldn't have gone that way. You, oh, wait, you got a I lot of go. you, you got a, Yeah, but I just, I don't know. You got lucky that there's a lot of Finion spawns, but it's. With how many points you have, I don't think it's worth like committing to full Finion, but now that you Oh my god, I literally I got them all. Yeah, everything's oh, cool. Finion. These these spots share spawns with uh, uh, that one. Ah, that one was a little too late too. Alright. Don't worry, I'll get the flying one. I did not get the no, flying it's not one. Either. Oh what a bummer. Yeah, so I got the high school shells. Alright, so I didn't get yeah, Finion. I noticed you weren't looking at the levels. When you caught yeah, the Yeah, that was I don't know why my brain just. Because like when the you threw the, when you targeted I... and threw the ball, I glanced down at the level and I'm like, oh thank God it's 34. 
Yeah, you. That's also one of those things that I usually shout out, but I just I blanked on it for a half Wait, a second. Your, what was your shout out level again? I swear uh, you said good question. Too. We're gonna find out in real time. I thought when you got yeah. it, it was twenty nine, but I think I might have just seen it say thirty two. Does say check 32. your shout out? Okay, so never mind. I'm I'm wrong. You got literally the best shout out. Uh, ooh, Graveler. Wait a second. Should I take this? You don't have it. You don't have a Graveler. No, don't do it. And you are so fun on points right now. We're going to have such a smooth coronet. You don't need those Geodudes. I don't need... Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to have Teddy done. I am looking... I am actually looking pretty good on points. Yeah, you're really good on points. Like, you got... Bonus Togepi, you got, uh, you know, Chat Out completely done. I have, yeah. yeah, and I have, like, Dust Talks, Mega Ask points. Moon. Um, yeah, with Silcoon, bon like, lots of Silcoon points, lots of Judo points, lots of Finneon points. Yeah. Okay, and this is uh, Strong Bolt Punch. No, Mock Punch, Strong Bolt Punch. Mock Punch? Yes. Yeah. You can get I don't know why I don't have it as just strong bolt punch. Well, that is something I just came up with. Ah, very good. Like last week or something. And yes, I did use the hot bar to change my. Oh my god! Okay, you need that one. crit. You needed that crit to kill. By the way. Oh, ah, very good. <laughs> the then you just if it you know if it doesn't crit it dies you just go to chat out and agile. Uh, Whatever, whatever move it also, is. Also, did you know you can change your lead Pokemon for these three individual battles while in the prior battle? Yeah, I think I saw yeah. Etiquette was the one that kind of discovered that or brought that at least to my attention. Because before, like, we were making sure, like, the first Pokemon in our party was the the one that we wanted to lead with. And then when but, it died, it would go to the next one. Yeah, but what um, you end up leading the battle with is what you have selected on your hotbar at the bottom. Strong uh, air slash or air, air cutter? cutter? Strong air cutter. Sorry, I said it was slot two because I thought this was a level twenty nine chat out. I was wrong. Yeah, and that's what kind of threw me off. Yeah, it's fine. Definitely kills though. Like strong air cutter is like a very good range to kill on its own, but it's also a fifty percent chance to crit and kill that way. Yeah, and then kill mega omega kill. Yeah. So you missed the it's fine. It's crit fine. Players. We're not that going means... for PB. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. You got no crit. Like, you saved the time back with no crit text. Right. right. Is it super effective that occurs during the it dying animation or something silly? Yes. yes. Forgot it's how it works. Afterwards. Yeah. All right, strong mud bomb. Yep. Okay, that's good that I... It's actually good that you're slower here. I forget why you can... Uh, because something to do with make... initiative. Yeah, so... The Gastrodon is a slower a slower um, bracket than the Rhydon, because Ty's always favor the player, ultimately. Um, so if it was tied, it would be the Gastrodon first. But because the Rhydon, Rhydon got a turn, uh, Gengar's Ooh. only going to get one turn. Oh yeah, that's right. Good thing it did only get one turn. Yeah, he was crazy. The crit kind of spooked me for a second. I was like, Wait, I'm not scared. You only get one turn this time. Mm -hmm. And we mud bomb there, so that way the we don't get hit with hypnosis because oh Drowsy yeah, so um, yeah. So one thing we haven't explained at all, and that's kind of why that Gengar did that. Um, mud bomb is one of the moves that obscures the user. It basically is just an evasion boost. Um, and yeah, Gengar, no Gengar saw that, and Gengar wanted to make sure it didn't miss. So it used the only move it has that never misses, which is Dark Pulse. And for people that have not played this game, you may be wondering why Dark Pulse? Like, why does that not miss? I don't know. They made it so that every move that ends with the word Pulse does not miss. And I don't know why. It bypasses yeah. the accuracy checks. They, like Dark yeah. Pulse, Water Pulse, Dragon Pulse. They all bypass accuracy checks. Does, so does if Swift not done, also bypass accuracy in this game? Yeah, but that's like, not a Pulse move. So that's not relevant. Yeah, but like... That's like the mechanic is Swift can never miss in the regular game, but for some reason they gave all the pulse moves that mechanic. Yeah, I think all the pulse moves in the other main series games just have like a little added effect, like water pulse can confuse, dark pulse yeah, can, can flinch. Confuse. 
So I don't know what Dragon so Balls this, can do. Yeah, the the battling in this game is weird because like stat stages are not uh you're they're not up or you're down up. or neutral. Yeah, they're not divvied up by physical attack or special attack. It is just attack is raised or lowered. So you can swords dance and then use a special move and get the buff. Yeah, so Gengar, yeah, if you don't like do Mud Bomb there, Gengar would have gone for Hypnosis, Hypnosis. which is like 70%, I think, in this game. Sure is. 90% strong style. Well, um, 70% and, it, for... and it never misses because it's the enemy using it, not you using it. Correct. Um, and then it would go for Venishock, which it just flat out kills you there. But because we went for the Mud Bomb and got ourselves obscured, we made sure that Gengar could not pick anything other than Dark Pulse. Because it didn't want to miss. The only way we know to manipulate battle AI is that, really. And then, and then it happens so quickly and then it's over. Okay, now to Arcanine, which is the, I think is the most difficult of the Noble Battles. I died on this for my first couple runs um, because we didn't have this strategy, but now it's the easiest. Um, because you can literally. Min uh, oh, you didn't. Ooh! Right I wasn't in the middle. My bad. No, you need. You need yeah, you were a little too far away from the middle. So basically, the way Arcanine works. I'm gonna is run into you... the middle. No, I can't! Good. Just gonna uh. go now. Or rather. Just, uh... Ow. Like, you go in the middle now. No, 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 no. no. There we go. Now, uh. Ah, uh, he was already. This is weird. Uh, he's in a. There we go. Okay, so now you're back. All right, go back to the regular track. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. Um, so the way Arcanine works is if you are in the middle, he will jump to the middle. If he is not in the middle, and you can do this repeatedly, rinse and repeat over and over again to manipulate. I went too early. He has to jump to the middle at the beginning of his second uh, phase anyway to create the. This is so jank. Why am I freaking out? I don't know. Now, so, I don't like going into the fire ring here. Okay, fine. it actually just took my input there. Fine, the fire ring's safe. It's like Electro Ball damage from Electro. Oh. A lot more safe than taking this stuff. <laughs> okay. That was good. Uh, that okay. was jank. Well, I've been having, I've been struggling on my nobles today. Don't worry about it. So it's kind of picky when I say be in the middle, and he kind of walked out of the range before Arcanine could detect him being in the middle. So that's why the fight got kind of got thrown off from there. Um, but yeah, and then, and then I was just, and then I was off rhythm, and it was kind of hard to recover. Yeah. But yeah, in the second phase, you are perfectly fine to dive through Arcanine and stick around in the middle while it's on fire. All it does is like. It does the same amount of damage and like it has the same damage properties as like Electro Electro Balls or like Dialga and Palky is like little blue ground waves. Like it's really nothing. Like you can just sit in there and chill and you know as long as you're not like red health, you'll be fine. The only thing that's annoying is that like it'll occasionally like damage you and take you out of throwing a bomb if you were in the middle of it. But as long as you're like timing it well, like it won't be the problem. Yeah, like I like I said, it's it's definitely the most difficult one, and yeah, I got I got thrown off a rhythm pretty bad, but I, I, it wasn't like out of control or I died because you can die, you can absolutely just die to Arcanine, and then it's really sad, and then you have to be careful about what inputs that you collect that you click because you want to start the fight from whatever halfway or quarter way point that you got, it's like whatever checkpoint. And if you don't click the right things, you might say, yeah, I just start the battle over, like, from the I think, beginning. I think the, like, mm. the statement that it's the hardest is definitely an opinion. Like, I don't even think it's the second hardest. Uh, I think Electro and Navlug are way harder. I think Electro is the easiest. Well, I think no, Lilligant mm, Not really. I think Lilligant no, is the... Electro has, so much, Electro has so much RNG involved. If it just constantly drops Voltorbs on you, you're going to get tactically nuked. I always like, feel like I get certain patterns, though, out of it. No, it's RNG. That's okay. It's only hard because it's, it's unpredictable because it's RNG. Like, it's annoying. I, I guess it's more annoying than hard, but Avalog is definitely harder. Um, yeah. Doing. So the only weird thing that I have, but just moving on. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The only weird thing that I have going on here is like I don't know if I'm gonna really finish Paris, just because I still only. I have would not one worry about it. You are going to be very surprised with how many points you have. 
I hope I'm very surprised. You are by... definitely over seven thousand. I sure hope I am. Inventory. Uh, don't deposit the nugget. Which one? Deposit it. Wait, there. no. I do want to deposit the nugget because I'm going to sell everything. Oh, you are okay. Yeah, I'm going to sell everything on that line. Yeah, my guess is like seventy-one hundred or something. I hope so. That would be great. Oh, you didn't finish Teddy Ursa still. 6690. How did you not finish Teddy Ursa? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I am said one. I am two Pokemon overmarked on my tracker, and one is Teddy Ursa, and so I'm missing one other as well. Mm -hmm. 66 night. Okay, I am surprised. I'm surprised that I'm that low. Yeah, but we've Sadly. got plenty. Yeah, but like you've got some things you can finish. Like you're not done with Hippopotas yet. Um, yeah, not done with so Rhyhorn. That's... All right. I'm gonna so I'm gonna we... leave I'm gonna leave the math to you. I'm gonna figure out why. Well, and you need what to tell me what you're not done with. Yeah, that's what I'm going to figure out. Yeah. And I'm gonna do that when I start hitting cutscenes. Like, I, th this is not the most dire situation I've ever seen. Like, Kitamura's it's... old English world record left Cobalt with 6170. Bruh. That is That's the awesome. lowest number I've ever seen somebody leave Cobalt Coastlands with and still finish. That is the record as it stands. Which, like, some of it was, like, really stupid. Like, he had to finish... He had to finish Motham by catching it and seeing a strong move used. Like, it's very silly. Um, so basically, at this point... Uh, oh, I've only caught one Teddy. So I'm at oh. seven. Yeah, I thought you had two. Yeah, I also thought I had two. So I could catch one unspotted if one spawns in the area I'm thinking of. I'm thinking you pop a stealth after Melly 1 because you can catch a Bronzor pretty much guaranteed oh, in the cave and it has a okay. um so did you hear what I said? Uh continue now. Okay, so yeah, pop, you're gonna pop one in bronze ore cave, right. Before after melee one, like before you get into the bronze ore cave, because the bronze ores have an a, a task for being caught and spotted, and a backshot lean ball is hundred percent to catch. Hell yeah. And it will easily last through the Earth Ring section to which I could Hopefully one of them will be Teddy, catch that unspotted, and then just scare all the rest of the Ursarines. If you scare four, just catch one Ursaring, you'll be done with it. Yeah. Knew that. Okay, so points. You had 66 what? 90. Okay. Um, so... Eh, that's not... It's That's actually not too bad with how many, like, weird... Because I need to just catch a Rhyhorn for 120. I don't want to, like, give you a path and lay things out, because I don't know if you're going to catch a, a Hippopotas. I don't know if you're going to catch a Rhyhorn. I don't know if you're going to get a Teddy Arsha to spawn. I don't know yeah, if you're going to get a that's, Rhyhorn to spawn. That's, what, that's what's really weird about this pathing, is, like, there are too many extras here for me to get a good gauge. Um, well, as long as you so remember like, to go for the what I so like what I kind of need efficiently. There's just like a lot of random crap. Well, I can tell you what you need. Um, oh. you, you, you finished Machoke, yes. so. Oh my right God, I have 29. I just get 51, right? Yeah, 51. Uh, yeah. It's a bit too much. <laughs> that is, well, the nugget helps, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh my God. So about that money, I'm rich. I've He's never rich. bought 51 million balls. This is uh this has also never happened before. I can't wait for you to put back 20 after the area's over. <laughs> um okay. Like I literally don't even have I have it for I probably could have I'm not even joking about this. I probably could have bought 61. I don't think it would have been close. No, I think I, I would have been able to do it. I do not think you caught a Yanma in Crimson. I don't think you would buy like yeah. bonds. So that's plus 20, because I'm just looking at my chart. Okay. So uh, my plan here, Halk, I'm just I'm just telling you what I'm thinking I'm here. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, add 130, because I'm not going to let you pass the hippopotasis without catching one. 
Correct. Yeah, I definitely want to get that. That would uh, And I really want to try to get a Rhyhorn as well. Like the Rhyhorn and the Hippopotas are what I definitely want to finish. Teddy is if it wants, but I mean, you need one catch on all of them, so you want to, you want to finish all of them. Yeah. If if Teddy spawns, I'll get it, but there's no guarantee it spawns. There's no guarantee on Rhyhorn either. Okay. There's a plenty of spots where it spawns, but there's no guarantee. It could spawn all the way like where the haunters are, but it's very unlikely at that point. That's true, yeah, because they're usually ride-ons over there. Yeah, and then when they split it, you know, they're literally in the haunter spots as well. Um, but because it's nighttime and it's split between Ghastly, Haunter, Rhydon, Rhyhorn, it's like 14% per spot to be Rhyhorn. Yeah, and this, <laughs> this is just a... The math is so hard on this because I didn't even think to... Uh, yeah, I've got you. So okay, so with your point total plus twenty for never having caught a Yanma, plus one thirty for the unspotted uh, Hippopotas catch. I don't think you caught two unspotted, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, I just I, caught one unspotted. Wait, do you only have one hippo, or? No, I have two hippos, but one unspotted. Okay. Um, you're gonna get ten points from killing Machoke. So I've got you at sixty-eight fifty right now, which means you should aim for five completions here. Uh, just a reminder, Machoke is done. Yes. I know, because you did Strong Bullet Punch. Correct. Yeah. I know you know that, I just I'm reiterating it. Yeah. Oh, there were Paris over there, but it's not worth it. Uh, Green Oh, uh, no. I, uh, too late. Uh, throw the Green Cake at the one at the bottom. Before you jump over the river, never mind. Oh, I was... I, I'm doing something that I haven't done in a while. Ever. Ever and yeah, and by a while, I mean never. Okay. Did you catch that first game, Mega? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> no, you did not. I think this one. You got it. Okay, I got. I did get that one, though. All right, so you're good. All right, yeah, Mega's good. So it's five yes. extras, by the way, not five total completions. So yeah, yeah, it doesn't count. So right now you have one. One, two, three, four. How are your stuns, by the way? Uh, I assume pretty bad, but like good enough to do skunk tank is what I assume, but not good enough to do uh, big hippo or Golduck. So I okay. probably need to do Mysterious or Voltorb. Uh, we'll see. Because right, right now, all I've given you for points is Hippo, because that's the only thing I'm going to make you do, like, no okay. matter what. Does Hippo count as one or no? No, I've just added, like, 130 points to the total. Like, okay. Basically, I started with... This is how I do my math, and it's really easy. I start with my Cobalt number. I wrote down 6690. I did plus 20 for have you never having had a Yenma, which my mm -hmm. chart assumes that you've caught one. I've added 130 to that to cat to um, account for catching a hippo unspotted and completing it, and then I've added 10 for you killing Machoke. So your number currently sits at 6850, yeah. and there's plenty of optional points to bump you up to the 6940 tier on my chart. Yeah, and that like, so that's five without Yanma or Skun Tank. Correct, and like there's still more partials you could get to like need four for example like if you catch the if you catch the teddy or sun spotted you'll be at 6980 if you catch yeah, the right horn you'll be at 60 or 7000 yeah. um so like, okay like, you still follow the chart no matter what so here's what i'm thinking if i get like none of those extra little random bonus points like the teddy or the right horn you will get hippopotas I, I will get hippopotas but if i don't get teddy or right horn or ursarine then I have to get uh, Voltorb and Mistrevis, um, along check. with Gligar and Toxicroak. Well, I don't have them. Background but that's right with now. nothing. Yeah, right now with nothing, you have to do five. Because I, I think you can definitely get a hundred extra bonus points for Hello. them, or especially with the. Yeah. Oh, wait, why are you doing that? Yeah, it turned and heard you. Like, if you see dots, you should assume it's looking at you. So like yeah, I, I, I was to run around. I was 
I was very safe to because I yeah I was yeah. I needed to take that one second to really identify which way it was looking. Yeah, so that way I didn't go in front of it because that was six. The rule points. of thumb is if you hear if you see dots, it's it's looking at you. So you know which direction it's facing. Yeah. I would not bother with Golduck. I think. Yeah. Oh, the first one's a Psyduck anyways. Oh, you skipped the leaf pile. Interesting. Uh, Stantler is a guaranteed catch. Oh, I'm good. Back strike. Stantler. Stantler. If I can find the border walls! I only have That's not a guaranteed catch. Okay. That's because I couldn't find my leading balls fast enough. I got it. You still got it. Good enough. We saved one of our 51 leading balls. Pog champ. Uh, excuse? Yeah, I like ran right past him. Hello? Okay, so okay. I have 80 extra bonus points now. Yeah. So if you want to be uh, 100% stun, safe By the way, here, my stun is 8 and 3. 8 stun, 8 spoiled, 3 mud? Yeah. Okay. So you're Which doing hip pretty well. Sorry, you're doing hip out on. I'm doing hip out on. Yes. So you're already going to be over there for the hip out toss anyway. Just, just pop that third power, yeah. If that stun tank crits you on the first hit and you want to be safe, you can do agile, uh, agile water pulse turn one, and get a combo that way. Okay. Just for the future reference. So I am doing hip powder. That sucks. That was a pretty likely range, dude. <laughs> At thirty-seven. Yeah, this is the the highest level, Gastrodon. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't get another Like, uh, all right, pop a stealth. You want st stealth before? Right now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, heal Gastron as well. Or it's too late. Or right, never mind. You got it on your next menu. Yeah. Yeah. You said it, and I. You said it, and That's I complied, it. even if yeah. it was a fade slow. I gotta start thinking about like when I say things and what your hands are already in motion doing. I'm. You you have to give me credit that I'm trying to do things fast and speedy, you know, speed running. This is really good. Cool. Like you're doing a lot of new things here. Like you know, I don't I don't think I've I've never pers personally seen you do Krogunk. and you certainly never have um, you know, withdrawn Starly on day three of Fieldlands, and you've I've certainly done never... Krogunk, but I've never done Krogunk quite like that, and it still wasn't like great, but it was like I kind of generally knew the gist of what to expect. With Krogunk. And to my knowledge, this is the first time you've ever used cakes. Yeah, the grain cakes. I've used mushroom cakes. Uh, so go to the left. Oh, you're going to run right into the station. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. That's fine. Oh, used, oh, the stealth oh, was for the Teddy Ursa anyway. Here, I'll just kind of. I'll catch this first thing, yeah. Uh, the right, there is there you one. go. All right, if you sit here and scare four, you can finish her string. Get in the grass. All right, now wait for them to cool down. Good, throw, and let's go. Go. Yep, okay. Beautiful. Okay, okay. so that's, that's um, super bonus now. Yeah, let me. Uh, Yanma or Yanmega? Yanma or Yanmega? Yanma. Yep, yep, okay. That's what, I, that's what I thought. Is that, I just um, needed to confirm. I'm gonna have so you use weird. strong. I'm gonna have you use strong ear slash here, so I can get the tangle point. points. No, because um, Kitamura was using Golduck like with strong Zen headbutt, but I liked the way the fight flowed like after using a strong move on the first turn, especially a strong move that oh, normally. Oh, because like it helps on the glide score, so he doesn't showboat quick attack a whole bunch. Yeah, because um, you're going to strong air slash. First of all, you won't miss on the choke. <laughs> yeah. And then second of all, when you send out the Yanmega after that, you can actually just use Silverwind instead of having to risk uh, air slash missing. So after on this dies... Tangle up? Uh, tangle up, yeah. So you're going to send out Yanmega and use just regular Silverwind. Yanmega and regular Silverwind. Okay. Yeah. After Yama dies here. If Yama doesn't die, just go for Silver One. A little stun score. Yeah. Well. yeah. Alright, so. Sorry, I was doing Hello, that. Ancient Power. Plus 20 for Tangle Ancient Power. Like, right now, like, this is what I'd be doing if I was running. I, I went to my calculator and added 20 for Yama Ancient Power. Tangle Ancient Power. Okay, and then just Silver One. Okay. Yeah. 
and you have a double turn right now. This is like a pretty consistent fight flow. So um, the Glide Score may go for a strong area lace, but it should just go for regular. And, it won't and I still try to go for the, I still try to combo with the air you will slash. Get the combo. You will get the combo. Oh, nice. Like I said, I like this fight flow because like it, yeah. it flows where you get what you want in this turn. And you still have to use strong style because that's a requirement to finish. Yeah, so the only yeah. risk you took in that fight was that first Yen Mega Air Slash. Okay. Because nothing else could have missed. I dig that too. I'll update my notes to that. Yeah, it's a lot safer than what I, what I used to do, which was just spam Air Slash the fight. I, I think, you no, you're right. Like, that's what my notes say. It says Air Slash, Air Slash, and then combo Air Slash. Yeah. No, that, yeah, that like, flow is actually kind of dope. pointless to, like, I don't know, I've always been kind of hesitant about strong air slash on the first turn, but it wasn't until I saw Kitamura's run that I saw, like, how the fight flow kind of, like, kind of sets in place after that. Because, you know, the Tangle is going to do its, its stuff, and you're going to kill it with Silverwind, and I don't know, I've always seen a double turn when I use my Silverwind on Tangela, and then I've always seen, for the most part, regular air release not kill me, and I've always seen Yen Mega able to get the instant combo with no Agile needed. So it seems just consistent. <laughs> I'm laughing at chat trying to get this hangman. I don't know what it is either, but it's <laughs> just for <laughs> the category. Items? It's an item, and it's something rock. Oh, it's a grit rock. Oh, that's from this game. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Oh, no. See, so. Somebody in the call still gets Hangman. We got it. <laughs> That's incredible. The Only street is I alive. Would get that. Grit Only rock. <laughs> I'm, I'm like actually crying. Don't forget to pop a stealth. In fact, I was going to do it right on this ledge. Oh, or, and then I was going to fall off the ledge. Uh, <laughs> the entire Pokemon speedrun community can't figure out what this item is. It must be from Arceus. Um. So Oh, that one fell female. Asleep. Oh, that one fell asleep. Also female. Male. One of them was male. They're both male. Yeah. Sorry about it. All right. Yeah. I think I got them both. Fifty-one. I would catch one more to be safe. Oh, they all saw me. You got it. You're good. Did I? Do I have four? I think you do. No, I don't. Actually, no, you don't. You can catch one more later. Or not. How much later? Well, like, after you climb, when you start climbing up to the uh, Sneasels. But do they all need to be unspotted? Well, yes. they, or the need they all... Right. Yeah. One of those is getting in, it's like 90%. Like, if they both don't get in, that's robbery. Okay, that's a Rhyhorn. Catch that. Catch that Rhyhorn. Sure am. There's no fucking way okay, it, it like kind of weirdly spun. I'm gonna re stealth here because it's about yeah. that time, anyways. Well, yeah, you need to go for the uh, the toss anyway. Uh, he did not uh, see me. That was Same. that was not unspotted. But hopefully, you have two unspotted. Oh, don't catch that yet. Oh, my bad. Okay, uh, that was not unspotted. Or that was not spotted, rather. Did you catch it? Uh, I did get the hip out on. I need to right, stun this run, one again, go, right? go do, go do Toxic Probe, then come back. Oh. That's a shiny gold bat. <laughs> shiny. Nice shiny gold bat. Uh, where are you? I would just go for the two scares. Actually, no. I don't know why which one. Wait, why did Yeah, that's what they, I was saying, man. They both, they both got scared. They just didn't run off. That was really weird. Yeah, that's... They're just as surprised by the shiny as you are. He's gonna I would have gone for a catch after I saw them not move, personally. Like, any bug the game is going to give you to take advantage of, you just take advantage of it. Okay, now go back to the talk. Oh, we'll actually go for yeah, a Goomy. <laughs> uh, I was like, Goomy. Okay, oh, the Gobat's over here. <laughs> I'll go for this Gobat, I don't care. It's going to see you. It, the it's aggro, yes. Yeah. Um. Hippo, out on. Yep, I'll go. I'll go get him. Oh, three, two, three, three. three. You have exactly three more for the hip out on. The hip out on. Well, I, trust me, gang. I already have. It one, needs to get in. Two. 
three. If it doesn't get in, you need a fourth stun and you don't have any stuns. Yeah, so running off is actually the correct play because you have no alternative. Alright, cool, you got it. Okay. So uh I should be just I probably don't have to do Voltorb or Misrevis here. Um what did you do? Uh where, where am I? I'm a little uh snizzler left. Left left snizzles. Left. Iskierda. Left. Yeah, I got a, sorry, I got a little lost. 56. Yeah, let, me, let me return to my math real quick. I got another 120 for the right horn. Um, so I have you needing um, 24 completion. So yeah, you're, you're good as soon as you yeah, catch your I'm haunter. good. And here is a haunter. Go fast enough. You're good. He did not aggro me. What level is it? Oh, don't, don't leave. I, uh, oh 55. All right, you're good. Sorry, I was I was checking the next slot. So I'm just like pretty much done here, right? Yeah, I would stay there and stun lock it personally. That's just me. But I'm like done with. You are done with everything. Because yet after before any completions, just based on raw points, um, you had 7180. According to like my calculations of your cobalt points plus all the bonuses, and with seventy one forty. Oh my god, I'm definitely over. Uh, on my, I might. So this is how this is how good I think I am. I have thirty nine completions. Yeah, this is which is fun. which is almost always like. Yeah. Plus you, know, you have like, forty extra happens. points on. Um, you have forty extra points on. Uh, toxic rings that I've not even accounted for. So you are like, you're, you're probably like a hundred over. But it's, it's better to be over than under. Oh my yeah. god, this is a really good fight. Yeah, I got I got both of them. But... Uh, it's a shame he didn't use a second strong move, because he could have just popped strong uh, earth power here. Yeah, you have to just go with regular earth power. It's a pretty good range to kill. It's like 9 and 16, I think. That's a terrible range. I'm only good. Alright, well. Ram. Wow, oh, Agile yeah. oh, style. Oh, is he actually? No. No way. No way. He, he wishes. Okay. He wishes. You are so, you are so unreal, Skun Tank. He wishes. But hey, hey, Chad, did you all see that shiny gold bat? I actually saw it before the shiny animation came well, out. I was like, you didn't... I was like, hey, he green. You didn't catch it, so I actually don't believe you. Yeah, I didn't catch it because he aggroed me, and I couldn't resource any stun items to go if get him. If so you threw a stun bad. item at him, I would have been so mad. You, you would have left the call. That would have been <laughs> uncool. I was like, this is not how I trained you. No. Chad, no. I have, like, five shiny gold bats from Let's Go. It's fine. I didn't need another one. In fact, I have caught two shiny gold bats in this game, plus five more from Let's Go. Like, it's just ridiculous. Golbat is like my most common shiny I have all time. It's mm -hmm. fine. You all you all wish you were as good of a shiny Golbat hunter as I was. Thank God it's Golbat, not Zubat, because Zubat is my least favorite Pokemon. But thank God for Crobat, which is an actually really cool Pokemon. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, its shiny is pink, which is good. Crobat? Yeah, it's like pink with like green wings. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a cool shiny. There you did it! You saw a shiny in the PSR marathon. Can anyone else say that? Uh -huh. um, I don't know. I didn't actually watch the like every single moment of it, the whole marathon. Maybe somebody did get a shiny. Chat, if somebody got a shiny in the marathon, please let me know. Here's uh, Electrode, by the way. Yeah, I can remember all of the shinies I got in Let's Go, but not, I've only seen three. I got a shiny. The first one I ever saw was a shiny Bell Sprout that I used as my Bell Sprout partner. That's and cool. um, and then I saw a shiny Jigglypuff, and then I saw like I saw the shiny sparkles in Rock Tunnel, so like I knew it was shiny, but I didn't know what it was until I bought it. And it was in the shop, I think. Um, I my first three shinies in Let's Go were all in Melt Moon. It was Zubat, Geodude, Clefable. Crazy. Yeah. So um, the Electric fight is pretty interesting. Uh, I think this has been my best. Noble I game. casually. Yeah, there. Um, okay. 
I casually like was trying to like avoid these electro balls, but it's really yeah. not worth it. Because they I will chase you one. indefinitely. Yeah. That was the best noble of the day so far. <clears throat> yeah, once you realize to just ignore the electro balls, like the fight's actually pretty all easy. Right, so when you warp back, I'm gonna tell you to deposit all of your Pokeballs. Okay. Because you do not need to catch anything else, and the next thing you need to catch is Dialga, so you can just do the exact same XZR, like, instant switch, like you did with Shinx. Oh, only, yeah, but, ball. like, I... And you I also need also... space in your bag for all the items they give you. Okay, that's so true. There's, there's multiple purposes for it. Do you want me to do, like, the full deposit, or just deposit? No, I just want you to go to the box and just XXX on your balls. Yeah. Can do. Yes, sir. Like, th that That's enough spots, I think. And if you have any smoke bombs, like you're probably going to use those on Gallade, and that's going to make another spot. So you're, you're I, I stealth spray for Gallade. Oh, do you still have a stealth spray? I, I should. I, have, I got plenty. Didn't use well, any in like, the back half here. You'll see in a moment when you deposit. Um, I don't so have I to buy withdraw, candies. I would withdraw the Machoke that you had in the last area to die here. Oh. Just because the Toxic Oak can go first, that's kind of annoying. Okay. If I remember where to find it. Uh, it should know, have been, little... like, it should be, like, the first thing. On the last page. On the page you're on. Okay. Choke instead. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact... Okay. Alright, deposit your Pokeballs. Uh, that is... <laughs> There you go. Okay, so now you've got plenty of space, and uh, you can instantly just do like a XZR little, like yeah, one, two, like three. I do on the on the shanks. Yeah, on shanks. Okay. Yeah, it saves you time from having to like press uh, you know, press X to switch to balls, and like press L and R to like find the ultra balls. Like the ultra balls will be the only throwable balls you have during the Diago fight. Eighty-seven hundred. All right, so you could have skipped one thing, but we didn't know that. <laughs> Is it eighty-seven hundred exactly? Yes. I guess you could have skipped like Toxicroak or something or something like that. Maybe not Toxicroak because you did extra research on that, but you could have skipped potentially Gligar, I guess. Mm, I like going for Gligars. It would have been probably Hippo because I did have to like kind of waltz back for that. Yeah. And Hippo is right. like my le least comfortable. Well, Toxicroak suck, but. Toxicroak is like in theory so fast, but in practice it's so obnoxious. Like next yeah. time you see Toxicroak do that, the, the thing that the first two did, please capitalize on that because that is a yeah. Bug. They're supposed yeah, to run away was, and they did not. They, they are. They were supposed to run away, and I was and I was like waiting for them to run away so I could move, and I'm like, what are they doing? No, the animation is it, one fell swoop. It's like they jump. They they kind of like yeah. They, they jump. They, flinch, they turn and, and they, run. Yeah. So you saw them jump. You know they got scared. Uh, next time I need you to capitalize on that. Yeah, huh. I mean, that was just that was just new. There's been a lot of new things. I've run right. this game a lot, Hal. Not as much yes, as sir. you, but I have run this game a lot, and now that was still new. And you're doing it. I am doing it. And you're definitely on 3-5x pace, for sure. Yeah, this is probably a 51. Uh, it's probably a 52. Yeah, that's still a really good time. Like, I don't know, like, given, like, I don't know. It's it's easy to, like, just, think that you're doing so awfully. But, like, if you just look is, at the people <laughs> that are, like, learning the game and the people that have, like, you know, decided to stop running the game and people that are just not quite at your level yet, like, this is a very good run. <laughs> yeah, this has been this has been a run where I know, like, deep down inside me, I'm just like, oh, man, this was kind of embarrassing. This wasn't it, a... A year, ago, a year ago, a year ago, you would have like I was doing the thing, right? Like a year ago, you would have killed for a three fifty one. Like, mm -hmm. Maybe not a year ago, maybe like longer than a year ago. Because I think you got your three forty nine in like twenty twenty two. Uh, no, I think it was. I think it was early last year is was when it? I got the forty nine, okay. and it was forty nine on physical. Oh yeah, physical too. <laughs> I was able to get a 47, and then I got a 47 this week, and I was, like, right there. Yeah, unfortunately, this will not beat the PSR Marathon record. That <laughs> no, I... 
Because me and Shady had a pretty competitive race when we ran this for the PSR Marathon in 2022. <laughs> and I almost got world record at the time. It was like a 346. Hey, I could I could get a PB faster than that at some point. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I wanted to mention at some point, but I didn't want to make you nervous that you could potentially get the PSR marathon record for RCS. That's been kind of cool. And then, but, and then I just, and then I just kind of like had like just a quietly solid marathon run. Like nothing special, but like nothing horrendous. It was just kind of well. I hopefully like this was an excellent showcase of like our discussion from that twenty-five minute mark where we started playing the game to now was dedicated to just discussing this run and like every little yeah. permutation of what has and what has not happened. It's extremely complex and, it, and that makes it extremely fun for a runner. I think like, I understand there's a big barrier to entry for uh, learning the decks and learning the tasks for the individual Pokemon. But once you have all that figured out, at least to like a pretty solid degree, like it's so much fun to just like, you know, I don't know, I, I think having to think of new creative ways to finish things and kind um, of get runs what, back on track that aren't it's fine you, you don't have to worry about moves okay i was gonna say i don't i don't have to. well bullet so, punch is research but bullet punch times three would have been your next research stage for that right. so you definitely call for one by the way the, it, <laughs> we need to not do research because we are going to get exactly zero points of research in this section because it's going to save some amount of time yeah 10 seconds Basically, that whole like, hey, you caught blah 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 Pokemon. Would you like to hand in your research? Da -da 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 -da. That yeah, was why T Pat couldn't use strong earth power on Skuntank. Because he deliberately used one strong move in Cobalt Coastlands, and the only way he could have, you know, been okay using that strong earth power is if it was his third strong move. Because you want to use either one or three leaving Cobalt Coastlands. <laughs> Um, so we the have next... to use one here, and we don't want to get research off of it. Exactly. So, you know, you don't get research for two strong moves or four strong moves, so. Uh, Halk, remind me what Sneasel speed thresholds I'm looking for. 180. Okay, I'll and see. what is that for again? To outspeed uh, something? It's to get the agile swords dance on Commodo's Snorlax. Gotcha. Okay. And also, yeah, I, if, they're I, really, if they're really fast, um, I don't know, I'll tell you what to do after. I'm, gonna, I'm paying attention to see what they are. Yeah, and I screenshot these anyways. Oh, uh, we go the higher level Skun Tank. Uh, they're both 56s. And their uh, their speeds are amazing. One of them's yeah, 193, two, the other one's 200. It's 200. The one I put in slot four is 200. Yeah, don't. It doesn't matter. Uh, what, whatever one's 56, use that one now. They are both 56. Okay, uh, use the 200 one now, then. I don't know. Okay. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because... Whatever one's, whatever one's closer to Haunter. Oh, be careful. Oh! He, I was... He was looking a little to the right, and then adjusted to that the left that I was already... That right. I, that is farther right than I ever do this movement. Like, I, I know where that boy lives, and I don't want the smoke. Yeah, that was... Uh... Okay, so the reason I was going to say use a 56 here, because if you use a 56 here and let it live through the rest of this area, uh, it will get 57 by the time it's fine, time to fight Gudra. Yup. Um, and I wanted you to use your fastest Sneasel, or probably a Sneasel that's 190 plus on speed, for the Savvy Triple... Because um, I've noticed, I don't have it confirmed, I haven't looked at the game data, but I, it's been my observation that if you have a fast Sneasel that you send out first against Savvy, you will not get agile moved at all. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's only when your Sneasels are like really slow or like pretty average speed that they'll go for the agile moves. Uh, send these bad boys. I'll tell you the attack stats too. Uh, this one has the higher attack stat at 164. Yes, yeah, so this is the perfect one to bring for Gudra. I mean, because, like, we're really splitting hairs here because they're both 56. Um, but, you know, this is the one we're sending out against Garrick right now. So the fact that it has a higher attack stat just kind of, like, further cements it as the correct choice. Yeah, it has 164. Um, the other one's 156. 
Because, like, when they're the same level, or at least right now they are, but, like, you know. Hooray! Gold split! Woo! The attack stat is the last thing that matters. And, unfortunately, like, they're so similar. Like, that's the last thing that we're looking at. <laughs> this is the last tiebreaker. Yeah. Awesome. So the rest of this run is actually going to be like a pretty much like a traditional Super Pokemon speed run. Super chill from here, at least compared to the first four areas. Yeah, like yeah, the, the research the section research. run. The we, research we've section run is pretty good. The game. There is only yeah. plot left to go. What's your favorite space time distortion area? Um. Yeah. What a weird question. Yeah, I've never made you think before. about that one. Oh, what what's the criteria? Just the of the Pokemon that spawn inside the distortion. Do you have one that's like your favorite? Because um, area two has the Porygons, area three has like the Magnemites, area four has the fossils. It's fun, fun. Area I like five area has two because like I've never failed that one, like gotten all of all forms of Porygon or something, and it's always like a nice surprise when I see like the evolved the forms of Porygon there. Yeah, or PZ. And like, there's a lot of evolutions there. There's EVs that can spawn in there. Like, there's Lopinies, Heracross, like Snorlax. There's a lot of catches you can get early in there, and I like it a lot. Pearl Camp, very important to not fly too early or warp too none early. Of, <laughs> none of the distortion locations where they like fixed can spawn are too tough to get to. That's nice. Yeah, area one I think is my favorite, but it feels a little too vanilla. I might go with I, you, the the area two. I also just really like the Whisper out of area two. It's the most technical, I think, because like I do that jump over the river to where the Toxicroaks are in Crimson. Um from yeah. the Cricketune platform to the Toxicroak area. Oh, that's kinda uh, dope. Yeah, it's very precise, but I like doing it. You have to do a wall climb from the Pachirisu area to be able to even attempt the jump. That's probably the harder part. <laughs> All right, we're gonna reel Skyrim horse hours here by just. While we're just in. doing movement, I will say catch them all is my favorite category of this game, and it's my favorite category of any game I run. Uh, catch them all is like I've been wanting to like do it again at some point, but it's it just takes a lot to like relearn it. It's not like let's go where I can just jump in and know I can just like have a chill time. I think catch them all is a little less chill in this than it is in <laughs> in let's go because in I mean, let's go when you're farming for a pincer, you're just sitting there on the route being like I'm looking for a pincer and you're using no brain power. But unlike that, like when you're waiting for a distortion to spawn, you're like farming resources like like using ursaluna to dig up peat blocks you know yeah, there's always you, something to do there always is something to do which is actually like a really cool thing of the run and then you, makes you, you cry you're never less gonna when get, you get a 40 minute distortion you're never gonna get five minutes in every area I'm like i i never oh have yeah five. you will never get five minutes in every year it's five percent right it's and, 10%. except in yeah except in Sports time distortion time. So it's it's ten percent for four of them and twenty percent for one of them, because we do the obsidian one during the end game phase. Which one did I get in this run? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, so, uh, I got, you a... got cobalt. Uh, I think that was a five in cobalt. Yeah, it can't like, be anything cause else because you, you slept. Because you slept to make it evening. Mm -hmm. So it had to have been a five. Yeah, we don't spend more than ten minutes in an area, like un, unwarmed, unwarped, unslept, or whatnot. I once saw three distortions in an any percent run. I was so mad. And I also got three shinies in that run. What? I'm really sad. It's like on my what? hard drive. Three yeah. shinies in an any percent run? Like, I've seen shinies in any percent, as we've yeah. seen in this run. Three? That's wild, yeah. man. And three distortions. Like, because I'm not sp I'm not sticking around these areas for a long amount of time. <laughs> I got one in Crimson, course, Cobalt, and Coronet. 
The only three you can get, because you can't get one in Obsidian at 80%. That's true, because they don't even spawn yet. You have to yeah. make it to Area 2 before they even tell you about it. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody does this stealth part spray. a little bit different. I am a stealth spray enjoyer. You can use the, the smoke bomb too to make sure you don't get seen. I like stealth spray as much as the next guy, but smoke bombs, when you have multiple of them, are just unmatched. Like, it's not only, like, yeah, he can't see you, but, like, or he can hear you, but hearing you does nothing. Like, if he can't see you, he can't locate you, he can't aggro you. So just, like, being able to just constantly throw down smoke bombs, like, you don't even need to... Like, the thing that makes that good is that you don't even have to open the menu. True, but I'm just more comfortable and more consistent with the stealth sprays. Oh, no, I agree. But, I mean, I... Which is, no which is fine. Like, I, I admit that that's where I'm There's at. objectively no consistency to the stealth spray, because he can just RNG turn and look at you. Yeah. So it's True. Like, like a spinner. For, yeah, like, at that point, like, you're leaving it up to Lady Luck, like, if mm -hmm. you're getting it seen or not. Nope. I, like, anticipated yeah, so, the... I anticipated yeah, my, the input. Yeah, if my theory's correct, you should not get an, any Agile moves here from these guys. Superior okay, hit is... The, hit the Elixir, hit the Elixir. Yep, sure am. Awww. That would've been nice. <laughs> that would've been nice. Riperior okay, is still looking around. Get we get that? another chance! No! Oh, now man. I'm just wasting this time! Is, this is so slow. <laughs> Oh, that's so lame, dude. Like if, if you would have hit me that first. Give me a normal fight, savvy. Uh, be careful. Oh, the right here yeah, is, is wasted a third turn just looking around. I'm kind of. What a weird I kinda, fight. I was kind of concerned he got a turn there. Like, that could have been bad for Gatcher. It could have been, been very bad. bad. Alright, so yeah, the funny thing about this Electivire is that it only has electric moves. It so it literally, well, yeah, because of the way that the turns worked out. Yeah, and I have a slow gastrodon, as we saw. Did you see that? Yeah, because uh, I was slower than the or the ride on in fire spit. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, I, I lost know. ten seconds to that. Nonsense. Honestly, I think you lost more than that. Uh, I lost. No, I you. Mm, I have it as eleven seconds to my PB. Well, I think your gold could be optimized a little bit. But I think you were definitely on gold pace with that because you didn't get um. You have to consider you did not get agile moved at all. That was like I, three seconds of time save you're every right. time. I am twenty seconds to gold. Yeah, so like I don't know because you would because you saved time from not seeing any agile moves from the other two, but then you lost like way more to like. This, it being a slow just, fight. Yes, yeah, these are just never getting a chance. Like it's one in three, by the way, to hit three paralysis. Or sorry, it's one in three to get get stuck like that. So it was one in nine to get double stuck like that. Yep. And I lost yes, another I second because I had a slow crouch cancel. Oh, yippee! Why do you have two splits that close together? Yeah, because I wanted a split for Braviary, because I wanted the <laughs> ten. I wanted the ten <laughs> like noble. Po like the like the ride Pokemon and the noble Pokemon all got split images, but I also wanted images for all of the unique like pearl and diamond characters that I fight at least once. So like I have an adamant at some point, and a, actually Adam, I don't know if I have an adamant. I know I have an Eardo. but I was like, hey, there's Sabi. Maybe I could get rid of Sabi. I don't know. Whatever. Don't worry about it. Like, I just I put way way too much effort into having like really cool looking splits and not as much effort being good at the game. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Um, I looked down at the time and saw my computer said two p.m. and I looked outside and it was not two p.m. and I'm like, wait, yeah, it's, uh, I'm sure uh, it's a little dark out there for you, buddy. Yeah, it's eight <laughs> thirty. I was like, I guess well, well, the sun, the sun kind of... is still out here in the great Pacific Northwest. In fact, our sunset is like 8.30. Mm. Yeah, it's not fully dark, but it's getting there.
I guess when my computer crashed, it uh, messed up the clock. It me when the computer crashed, it messed up the sun. Unlucky. It's like when the game yeah. crashes and you ha reload the save file and you're on a different day. Or when you die in Arceus, uh, it's the next morning. <laughs> or when you, you die in Arceus, you die in real life. How does it use uh, in that room? I do not identify as a Kiwi. Uh, I would drop a little bit more. You're a little too high. You might take damage. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. That's ugly. Yeah, I know. It was it was just a little bit, and I my that. hands could my hands could recognize it a little bit easier to do a little dive. Yeah. For those that don't know in the audience, it is faster to switch to between Weezy and Bravery because they have the same top speed. Um, when Bravery dives, it loses. Yeah, a speed. and my hands were prepping to just drop Bravery and remount, but I don't think you keep your mom forward. Mom no, you just press left on the D-pad, switch to, switch to Weezy, and press right to go back to Bravery. Yeah, I was just, I was, I was just a little afraid that it was too close. Oh, did you press A to do that? I did press A there because my hands were just ready for well, it. Again, for the audience, uh, if you press A, you get much less of an initial uh, ascent than if you just use the D-pad. But the right it's the same amount of time in this case. You know because what? The, That's probably the one case I'll allow that. Because yeah, it was because like, the ascent takes the, the same height. amount of time, and you're doing the same amount forward. I just need a few extra pumps, which no, doesn't the deep, lose any time. Yeah, the D-pad ascent gives you way too much. I agree for that specific fly. I um, think that one I have calculated that it is okay to just press A. Yeah, um, I learned that from the balloon race runners actually. I think back when the game came out, and that's out. why I realized like. There was a moment I was doing like balloons casually, and I was just like, "Why can't I like get these?" Mm -hmm. The game doesn't tell you that pressing the D-pad gives you more height than just pressing the A button. No. All right, uh, explain Avalog. Something that's actually important. <laughs> instead okay. of instead of just getting extra height with Braviary. That's really important. What are you talking it about? Is, okay, that is important, but there's something really cool you can do here. And it won't be hype if I, I get it. I don't right, but I don't want to hype it up too much and then something happens. <laughs> so, no, we've like I've, I've, I've struggled with the earlier ones, but like we're on the All right, you focus, now. I will talk. Alright, thank uh, you. So what this fight is, uh that it's a very big table, as you can see. Um our big table friend will uh, you know, if he gets below half, he does the rage shout like every other noble. Um the thing is if he doesn't go below half, he doesn't do the rage shot immediately, and he continues cycling through all of his attacks. His attacks take so long that it's actually possible to kill him before he ever gets a chance to rage shout if you keep him deliberately above half, which t going to try to do. Um, one more yeah, last one. That's, no, 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 no. All right, we're good. So, okay. Oh, that's too early. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So uh, T Pat deliberately kept him above half for a few reasons. Okay. One, he doesn't. Some of those missed that were not cool. One, he didn't get the shout like we wanted, and two, if um, this Avalog is not goes, good. This is not good. If Avila goes below half when he's shooting off those icicles that T Pat was like dodging through, they will shoot at, tw at like double speed, and it's actually impossible to get a bomb off in between them. But yeah, he, he had some issues, so this was, didn't quite get it. That was terrible. Yeah, it's possible to have killed him by now, basically. That was one of my worst Avalogs in a while. Okay, so uh, we'll give myself a D on the nobles today. I mean, the only I don't one know what, I don't know what. Oh, well, I I dodged too early, and it was sad. The and then I, 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 really I, got, I got thrown. I got thrown off rhythm. And I took damage on like the ice, like before the ice beam attack, and I don't know how that happened because I usually just stand you bumped in the into far. it. Yeah, but I usually stand in the far left of the screen. I know, but I watched times. you. I watched you walk into it. I know, but it's and odd because I usually don't even drift off to the right. So it was and I only odd. know because I use that to damage boost through the ice beam, even though it's really risky. Because, like, it's not that much invulnerability. And, like, if you get hit by that laser, you're literally down for 10 seconds. But, I mean, the only one that I thought was really bad was Arcanine. 
like I don't know that that one that one was like come on man, <laughs> but all the other ones were yeah. like understandable like because you know you're obviously you've been running other stuff but like the Arcanine is like literally a softball, like just stay in the middle, and like I don't know Avalog's hard, all these bosses are hard. Like I we're kind of talking about which ones are easy, which ones are hard. They're all hard. Like let's just be clear by default they're all hard. Now like you know which ones are the hardest? That's a different conversation. Avalog is the hardest to do optimally. Uh, I agree. Like, yeah, I yeah, because I don't get rage skip. I wouldn't even say twenty five percent of my attempts. It's the most technical for sure. Because I don't do the IL elegant. Oh well, no. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I, I Shout just, out to the reason. <laughs> I don't know. I've had like I've had. Lilligant's die uh, before jumping off after her temper tantrum. Or, like, you know, before she even jumped off before the temper tantrum. Like, that's the fastest I've ever done it. Like, I, I can do it really fast. Like, I don't see any need to relearn the fight, personally. So, anyways, uh, we're done with all five areas. And uh, we're gonna... You know, that's it. Wrap it up, everybody. <laughs> Uh, but not quite. Yeah, uh, there's definitely we, not 50 more minutes to go or anything. <laughs> we broke the sky, so... Yeah! We we are, in fact, we're plotting right now. We're gonna eat some of this mochi or whatever so, these are. When I ran this at AGBQ, I had to do all lords. Um, and, you know, I was kind of bummed out about that, like, secretly in the back of my mind, because there is some really interesting stuff in the endgame. Like, some of the fights are extremely interesting, but I do agree that it, it is a decent amount of cutscenes that very few people want to sit through. Yeah, like, the whole the whole gathering <laughs> research part of the game the is, are... like, su is like right. super technical and, like, you know what, super Tika, engaging. Just to prove my point, you're going to do the fights how I say. Because I don't want to see any strong night nice flash on the first turn on Benny. I didn't agree I want... to this, but I'll agree no. to this. You, and I'm not strong. Me... I'm not strong night slashing on uh, on Benny. I don't good. do that. Good. I do yeah, the I do the good, good Benny strat. So I think I'm in oh, line you do with the what you're... the one with yeah, the psychic. You just... Yeah, if you, if you get psychic, you hard switch to the sneasel. Okay. Yeah, you already know what to do. Cool. Yeah, I do that. I do that strat. Yeah, because I don't think that was the strat when we ran this for the PSR marathon last time. Like that was no, that was like it, August of twenty two. It's it's more recent than that, but it was literally it's two years not, ago. It's not like yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not like ancient. That's a, this isn't like a super super recent strat. I I've got it in my notes mm -hmm. to do it the cool way. I just didn't have the uh, I just don't have the sneeze. It says check Sneasel stats like and I have it like highlighted and then I have no reference to any of Sneasel's speed stats for the rest of my notes. So I have some incomplete <laughs> sections and it's just and that's just the where I'm at skill level wise, which which I have to give myself credit is a very high level, but there are still some stuff that I just do based on feel. It's just I'm just do this off the cuff. I don't care. I will like I'm, I'm good enough to look at the two skunk tanks I talked, I, I caught, and pick the higher level of the two. Neat. I mean, it's all that matters. TBH. So yeah, we broke the sky and we're getting banished, and we can't return until we, after we've captured the avatar. I've definitely not made that joke before. Um. So I mean, just for your information, when you see Sneasels in. Alabaster, you need to see 180. And as long as you see 180 on one of them and you use that one for all the important stuff, uh, that's, uh, that's all that matters. But you have way too much speed, um, and we're going to go and, uh, you know, accomplish things. Cool. Like, you have so much speed that you probably won't see shelter from Gudra. Oh, I sure hope I don't. Because like it probably doesn't like see shelter as like a viable option. Yeah, because if it shelters, I might get a move, and it wants to shelter and Iron Tail. Yeah, so it might just. I, I think it just goes for Iron Tail. I might be mistaken though. Oh, you forgot to stop walking. Oh, never mind. You did it. No, I got it perfect. Right. I'm I'm always a little uns. I know it. I don't have to go all the way to the grass. It's like just short. 
I mean, she will, like, just kind of tell, like, I've literally had her, like, say, come on, and she's literally standing on the trigger, like, just please take me away. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little, and this, to to say it this way, like, I, as a speedrunner, am still a little bit safe. Like, I don't take as many, ri like, like, I don't want to run as close to the wall as some other runners do, like, hit that input on the exact pixel or the exact frame that it's available. Like I'm usually like a little bit safer. Like I've given myself more margin than I should. And it does add up over time. And I need to practice in a way where it's like, it's not on the line. And I, I mean, need to I just told get you, a better feel for like, oh, first available input kind of stuff. I've told you this before, but you play to finish. And that's something I can't do. Like, there's a lot of strategies I do, like, and a lot of mentality problems I have to where I have problems finishing runs. Yeah, but, like, I don't have that issue. I, I don't have that issue because my primary goal when I stream is to play the game. <laughs> I know mm -hmm. that sounds so stupid, but, like, I want to play the game. And I like completing runs. It sounds stupid unless you're a speedrunner and you know what it's like to not play the game. <laughs> I will say, sometimes it gets hard for me to watch the Fire Red Leaf Green Runners just sit in the lab for two hours just doing the nip. And I'm like, come on, please get the nip. Please play the game. Not for my sake, for your sake. Please play the game. That's so partially I like why I don't do the nip categories. <laughs> and just yeah. like, I don't know, that sounds like fucking or like that just sounds awful yeah so i i am a playing the game enjoyer all the switch speedruns pretty much let you play the game except for eevee you're still in the lab in eevee <laughs> just just run unrunnable eevees dude you know. i can get 301 with an unrunnable eevee i don't know what that's I don't great know what i can't is. i can't get <laughs> Well, my problem did I tell is, you, uh, did I tell you I got a three double O and I didn't catch Rhyhorn and I won the Let's Go tournament by doing that? I saw that you got a three oh O to to on your last race in the tournament. I thought that was pretty crazy. Yeah, I did not catch like, Rhyhorn in the My PB run. is three oh three, and I lost two minutes after catching my Starmie to RNG. Yeah, uh, that's about right. No, that's that's actually like valid. Like, I'm pretty sure I missed two hydro pumps on the Jinx and Victory Road, and I got put to sleep, and I had to wake it up, and oh, like, it was yeah. awful. Uh, funny story about that Jinx and Victory Road. You ready for this, Hulk? Um, mm -hmm. It Ice Beam froze me. I scald and crit it. <laughs> and all I could think of in that moment was, uh, was Togeta from My Hero Academia going, POWER! That's cheating. Just breaking, break out of freeze, just crit anyways. But no, I lost, zero, I'm a, lost zero turns I'm, on that fight. I'm aware I can improve in Let's Go. I don't have the willpower to do so. I know it's like, it's like gamble for a good Eevee. It's gamble for level 15 in Mount Moon early. It's gamble for like, you know, Rhyhorn to show up at a reasonable time. It's gamble for Starmie to not suck. It's gamble to not miss any of the hydro pumps. Like, it's just did so I, much gambling. Can I also tell you that not only did I not get Rhyhorn, I also did not get Ponyta. Uh, that's not that crazy, I don't think. Wait, what? Yeah. There's no way you were just walking and got a 300. No, I caught Rapid like, there's, there's Okay, I was like, there's <laughs> literally no way. <laughs> like, don't well, lie What's to hilarious me. about that is the first spawn in that route was a Rapidash, and I ignored it. I get to the like the halfway point, and then a second Rapidash hits the route, and I like catch a couple things, and I you know, want like I watch the evolutions, and I think about it, and then I go get it. And by the way, that Rapidash ended up being Wumbo size; it was worth ten thousand experience. Mister Weatherman, another Rapidash has hit the route at seventeen. <laughs> I can't take I, credit I for that line. Dynam said that line, and none of his other commentators <laughs> laughed. And I was listening back to the commentary, and I was in. Ditches when he said that. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go is interesting. It's my it third is. favorite one to run of the Switch games. Right. Hey, uh, everybody in chat, what's your favorite Pokemon Switch game? Oh, I can is have a tier list. Is, Hold it, on. is it Let's Go? I have the official tier list of the number one rated Switch speedrunner. 
and the results may surprise you. It's definitely not BDSP. If you type BDSP in chat, you might get banned. Except, unless you're ban Fury. I, I think Fury is okay to say BDSP. Uh, uh, I'm picking Adamant, right? You won't. Yes. I'm sure you won't let me pick Irida. You can do whatever you want. I picked I'll Irida pick for uh, RPG Loan Break because I was forced to because they had a donation incentive. All right, this is my official tier list of the Switch speedruns to play. Okay, PLA Switch. Let's go Scarlet. All much, much, much greater than BDSP. What's funny, Hulk, is you got really good at BDSP, but you all also you also understood that that's a terrible game to speedrun. I would have world record right now if I didn't get crit by Bertha's Golem. I would have a better world record right now if Barry didn't crit me with a Star Raptor. I was on 317 pace in E4, and I got crit by the Golem at the end of Bertha. Yep, that sounds like Bertha. And I will, I've resigned to the fact that I am stuck with a 329 forever because I don't care to improve it. <laughs> After that happened, I was like, nope! <laughs> I'm oh, wrong way. Ursaluna cameo! Bear. Oh, I did it again! Bear. I swear I hit different buttons that time! It's I swear! I swear I hit left and it came. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm just gonna. That was. Not, what did am I doing? The, did you guys see the beautiful bear? Okay, it is left for the weird bear. Deer. That was so weird. I definitely hit left on the D-pad and I got bear. So then I hit right on the D-pad and I got bear again. And I was like, what is happening? All I'm roads like, I let my bear. hands do the work and then I had to second guess my work and I got, I did the math and it did the, <laughs> the different things. What happened? God, he's such, God, he's such a good boy. I love her, Sluna. I, nothing makes my heart like flutter more than an Ursula cameo appearance in any percent. Because he has no reason to be here, so it's all it's I like was a shiny. Trying to do the cool it's, mountain climb. It's like a shiny Pokemon. I hope we already Skun saw one of those. I hope you let Skun Tank. Uh, I usually I usually punch it in um, okay. before Avalog, so I don't. You're have have punching to think it about in. It. Do you have your keyboard plugged in? Yep. Good luck. Nah, that's the Thanks, way. buddy. Actually, that's a lie. Bitter Malice is... Actually, no. Nasty Blood is worse than Bitter Malice, I think. Damn. No. Oh, I'm gonna get no brutalized. No shot. What do, I, what do I do here? You just Night Slash, I think. Oh, never mind. I don't know. What Pokemon do I go in from uh, here? Haunter. And Stark Pulse. Oh, you don't have a Haunter last, that's awkward. Yeah, I go third. This is just the order I have. Yeah. <sighs> oh, anyways, I love her. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so there's 57 <laughs> on Sneasel. Uh, so, I mentioned a keyboard just now, because um, Yuxi's going to give us a riddle here. Yuxi's going to say, um, Combi... Uh, how many uh, eyes Zubat. do all the Pokemon have? Yeah, Combi, Zubat, Dusclops, um, Magneton, something else with one eye, uh, unknown Magneton, Dusclops, and uh, she pulls up a keyboard for you to uh, do your thing. And the thing is that it's the Switch OS keyboard. So if you have an external keyboard plugged in, you can just type it in instead of having to navigate the numbers with the D-pad. It only saves like a second, so like it's not crazy. Like I would we'll do it see. even if it was That's probably a couple seconds. It saves me a second because I got really good at typing in the numbers with the D-pad before. I mean, you saw you saw me do it live in Dallas. Pretty good yeah, at like, it. I yeah, I but I, I timed myself because like you know obviously before we started doing it, like I had to get really good at typing in with a D-pad, and I got insanely good at it. But I would do it even if it was slower, personally. I just think it's i think it's whimsical. I think it's fun. I think yeah, We have I a think... D-pad sitting on our desk for no reason until right now, like, three hours in. It's really I funny. think it would be a huge flex that if at, like, a GDQ or <laughs> another... Any marathon in which, like, the Pokemon name is an incentive, 
and you're just like, hey, what's the name? They tell you the name, and you just type it in on a keyboard. Yeah, like, you could do that. live on stage to be like, it's faster to do it this way. That's just what's optimal, is to do it with a plugged-in keyboard to the Switch. Like, it's a full never, keyboard. I have never had, like, a full keyboard plugged into my Switch. It's always been a numpad. <laughs> yeah. I think that that's why that would be the biggest flex, is to have a full keyboard plugged in. I think Blender and, and Shady use a full name. keyboard, and it's a bit excessive. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Gudra uh, battle. Gudra Okay, sucks. I fought the, fought the camera on that one. Never fight the camera. Yeah, I... Well, camera. I... I <laughs> Never I fight the camera. The camera always wins. I know, and that I I had a 50-50 chance to float the camera around, and I failed. Not the out. loud. Um, yeah, start dropping. So this range that is was off. a little. Uh, it's very. If this Gudra, so right. one thing about these lake uh, alphas that we haven't addressed yet is that they are wild Pokemon. They are generated like a wild Pokemon. Random nature, random starting IVs. You know, the only thing that's guaranteed about them is their level and their moveset. Um, so if this Gudra is plus defense, it is actually impossible for Sneasel to kill it without a crit. You know, so like, I don't know. It's hard to calculate exactly how likely these ranges are. All we know is that Zoroark is more than 50% because the Night Slash yeah, because, has a 50% chance to crit. Which I didn't get, obviously. Yeah. You didn't get either of them, actually. You didn't get the strong air cutter crit on Toxic Croak, and you didn't get the... Um, Hooray! And I don't think I ever saw Night Slash from Melly crit. You did pull uh, out the 57 season, right? No. Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay. Um, something crit me. Oh, it was the Gengar. The Dark, Dark Pulse crit me. I think the, the Zoro crit you with strong Shadow Claw, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Come on, magic crit, please. In the record, uh, that it did for go like... for Iron Tail oh, and perfect, missed. Perfect, perfect. So... Flash, flash. Wait, no, no. Oh. Oh. Wait, it went for Iron Tail and missed, and then I got use, it. Use close combat. Use close combat. Use close combat. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's the fine. first time I've hit through shelter. I'm actually. I'm. You. The thing that happened, you said happened. But then it still got a shelter off, and it was like, okay, that was a little weird. Well, normally it's supposed to go for another Iron Tail. I don't know. Life's weird. Life Video is weird. Suck. <laughs> this, this game is weird. Sure is. Um, but yeah, so the record that stood for like uh, 535 days that I had, the 339.35, mm -hmm. the only range I hit was this one. <laughs> And it's like, it's the most bizarre thing. Like, that's not really the expected outcome. Like, the one you're very likely to hit usually always is Overquill, which we haven't gotten to yet. And then I think Zoroark is more likely. I mean, obviously. Like, you could, you could get that without the crit. Yes. What? Zoroark? Uh, Zoroark, yeah. You can get this without a crit, too. I wish. But, like,. Gudra, I think I've only gotten the Gudra range once. And I remember it was your 349, you popped off like, look at the Gudra range! <laughs> you're right, you're right, that's what it is, that's what it was. You're right. Oh, you were so, uh, that's the most excited so person I've ever seen playing through Legends RC 80%. Um, Listen, I'm a simple man that enjoys simple ranges. Yeah. Simple ranges. Oh, 44 is good. That's like the max level you can be right now. So, um, it looked like your defense Ooh. was pretty good, which is kind of unfortunate here. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, um, that might sound weird, but, um, we're going to the next lake and, are you, uh, are you gonna saying I'm going to miss all three ranges? God, I hope you do. That'd be so funny. I don't think I've ever missed all three ranges. I I've have missed the overfill range. But I've always gotten at least the Zoro. I think the world record might have missed all of them. The current world I record. I don't believe you. No, you don't understand. I had so much time to play with leaving Coronet. I was a minute 55 ahead of my 338 PB. I was almost, yeah, I was almost two minutes ahead. 
like, and I had a horrible Benny fight. I missed Hypnosis on Dialga. Like, I shouldn't have said out loud that I had a lot of time to play with because the game was like, all right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. This game's stupid. Sure is. I, I've definitely missed all three ranges at some point in my life, for sure. Oh, it didn't... Whatever. Boo, Sneeze, Luna, yeah. Boo. Not that... even Urs Urs Luna. I really disagree, because I definitely hit... Definitely hit Braviary, and it didn't give me. I didn't even see Braviary at all. Um, I was like, okay. Okay, no, I lied. Whatever. I I'm having. Uh, if this is whatever. It's a five marathon run. If you want to see a real god gamer, just follow twitch.tv slash Calcary. Yeah, my PB hit Zoroark and Overquill, so I only missed Gudra. Never mind. I lied. But I've definitely missed all three at some point, and it's uh, it's a joke. It's comedy, actually. So, anyways, I was right. saying um, the defense of Gudra being potentially high is bad here, because the, the Overcool is going to go first because of its Wild Might, um, giving it a boost to every stat. And then it gets uh, it'll go for double edge, and we need always the recoil goes damage. Edge. Yeah, and it's going to take recoil, and uh, you know you'd want obviously to take to take as much damage as possible. Except, nope. except, please don't, uh -huh. please don't get crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm 44, so maybe it's fine. This is okay. <laughs> I mean, it also depends on the special defense of the Overquill. Damn it! All right, whatever. Yeah, didn't get cringe. You know how you awesome do. that would have been in a marathon to miss every range. <laughs> think of what you took from me. Think, think of what you. you took from, think of what you took from these people. <laughs> Chat, do you like comedy? I love comedy. That's why I play Legends Arceus. Well, the comedy is that Azelf always spawns behind you. And I know that it oh, always so spawns true. behind you because it all because it started happening to you like all the yep. time now. T Pat is exceptionally talented at unlocking new time losses for the rest of us. Like, um, I didn't address it when we fought Adam and before Coronet Highlands, but as far as me and Shady understood, uh the Leafeon always goes for Leaf Blade. That was until, until T before T Pat started running it. <laughs> until and T Pat I saw that little brother use Calm Mind, Calm Mind and said, "Guys, I got Calm Mind." And then me and Shady got it later that week. So he unlocked this time loss for us. Oh, I found getting... plenty of new ways to lose time, and it really started with BDSP. And uh, I'm trying to new. Getting... We call I'm trying this new thing called way. "I'm gonna step forward." To promote the Azel to 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 spawn in front of me after the last one, I have I no idea if it will work. I hold down after this phase so that like I'm closer. If it is behind me, I think if you hold down for a second and then target, like you should get it. I I saw it spawn behind you, but it's beh it spawned behind me. But I moved forward, so maybe he'll respawn in front of me. You are coping. I sure am, because he's definitely going to be behind me. Yep. Every I time, like, baby! I love how before you even had confirmed, you already started turning around because you just were that convinced he was behind you. Yeah, this game is stupid sometimes. Like, I don't know. I think the world record even has a spawn behind. Because I unlocked the time loss! Because t -Pet unlocked the time loss for the rest of us. Where would we be without t -Pet? It's like the Society of X didn't happen, and it's like flying cars and stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except that's bad. I want you to run this game. I want you to enjoy it and have fun. You did not make this game worse. I, I told you, chat, comedy. Me running this game. Pure comedy. The this finale game, of PSRM. Whose bright idea was that? <laughs> this game is a, a three-hour stand-up routine. Four-hour stand-up routine. Uh, and, it's, some and, of the it's most... like, and it's like it's like three stooges like comedy. It's it's that pure like get kicked in the balls. Not gonna lie, I do like slightly kind of enjoy when people are like losing their shit. <laughs> 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 like, how many see, times? Like how I'm many sorry. times have I like 
screamed while playing this game. Like, when just I full, saw- oh, I can't believe the Dawes Club didn't get in a bar! Oh my god, it kills me. Like, I, I feel so bad, but at the same time, I'm fucking losing it. I'm always like, god damn it, this is you, so you can funny. Hear, you can hear me, like, literally screaming at the TV. This is content. <laughs> <laughs> Why did eight shanks break out of the ball? <laughs> I don't know, it's like... It's, it's the only thing I can describe it, or compare it to, and this is not to say that you are this way. It's like when Mac or like Magnus Carlson or like Karo Nakamura like watch like mid rated players or like five hundred elo like, chess no, players. No, you want like, the queen. Like, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely had. What where all, that? all the Scott tanks? Yeah, I, did I tell you? You were streaming, and I went into your stream, and I was like, hey, bro, what do I do if no Scott tanks spawn? Because I was just like, Scott tank, Scott tank. <laughs> Just... I do remember that, but you didn't know the strat. The strat is you go forward and just catch Gal- uh, Glalie instead. That's what this. That's what this was actually supposed to be. Was just a live coaching session. This is how I tricked Halk into getting in call with me again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I and, can't wait and... till I run this game next year, so I have to drag you back. Anything for you, buddy. <laughs> the meme block, yeah, just me screaming at the game. Watch TV yeah, screaming like, at a video game for four hours. Just I just have I'm on TV with no voice tomorrow. It's just like what happened? You, for those yelling, the, at, you know, watch, yelling at our Lord and Savior Arceus for four hours. Where so are you? For those that um want to see more comedy, um you should go to YouTube and go to the GDQ channel and search for Pokemon Legend Arceus in four O O O O ish. Ish. Um, which was a speedrun T Pat did that me and on, shenanigans on, were on the call GD, for on the GDQ channel. There oh, might have been someone else there, but eventually it turned into me and Shen like trying to like monka steer and just like completely correct like fix the run because it was a dump, like I don't know what happened. Like there's a lot of awful luck things that happened. It was just quite the dumpster fire. It's fantastic. All I remember, I should actually watch that back. Don't. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm ready don't. yet, though. I don't, I don't know if I'm emotionally ready. If you all want to like watch it and make fun of me, like go. I just no, remember man. not having enough points to leave tutorial, not having enough points to leave area one, and I think I barely like I had like exactly thirty five hundred or like thirty five ten to leave area two, and I was just like, I don't think I'm gonna have enough points to even finish the run. And I just remember full panicking for about an hour and a half. And And the commentary suddenly turned into an advisory council. Just like, you know, like the situation room in the White House. Just like, Mr. President, we need to... No, we need to do this. No, we need to do this. And me and Shen are just trying to find a solution here that works. And get you on board with it and get you through it. You had all recognized how desperate I was, like, internally. And we were all talking like, over each other, like, trying to, like, get our ideas heard, and I'm, like, we're like, no, do this, no, do this, no, do this. It was it's just, like, like, it's just such a cluster. And, and I'm just there, I'm just like, wow, I get my moment to be on GDQ, and uh, then I'm never gonna invite it back. And it was just, that, that's what, what uh, was happening. Well, the tech was in on it, because, like, they eventually, like, Oh, yeah, Richard was great. Like they so, changed like the estimate from like three fifty five to like four hours to I think at the end of the it was four oh oh ish, which is where the video title came from. Yeah. So so what it was was like I think I had re- originally submitted like four oh five, which is usually like my comfort estimate. But like I started the run and it just said four. And I was like, that's okay. Like I've gotten plenty of runs sub four before. Um and then that run happened, and I was like, I'm going over estimate. There's no way. And then I was like, worried about that too. So then the estimate got changed back to 405. And then we somehow got in this conversation about, no, let's just add a couple seconds. And I was just like, well, the smallest unit of time physically measurable in the universe is a Planck second, which is the amount of time it takes light to cross a Planck length, which is just like the feasibly smallest unit of distance that anything can possibly occur. 
And then it was just four double O and a few plonk seconds is just what it physically said in the estimate line. Yeah, so the people that made the thumbnail were in on it because they they literally put 400-ish in the thumbnail. <laughs> Richard t t tells me that that will be the only time that ever happens in the history of GDQs, and I am the sole honor of that. <laughs> well, it, it derailed into a science conversation, which is where I feel most comfortable, let's face it. All right. We are here with Ninja Benny, and we didn't get it hit with hypnosis. All right, this is like a 14 range. It should be better than that. Uh, yeah. Well, 12 and 16 at worst. All right. Yeah, world record got hypnosis, so I went for strong close, strong night slash. Cause I was like, I, if I miss this range, I don't want to have to hit another one through hypnosis. Hmm. It's a regular Earth power. And right. uh, he will get the best possible fight. Sure if will. Benny immediately uses Psychic on his Gardevoir. And only if that happens. Psychic! Our, our Twitch. Okay, best possible Benny fight. Because uh, Shady figured out that if this exact scenario happens, this exact scenario, you have the chance to hard switch and your sneeze will go first. Rather than having to wait for. Oh, you're supposed to be strong. No, it's not under calm mind. No, uh, I've had it. I feel like I've had it not killed before. I have it as poison jab if no calm mind. All right, worked out. So, never mind. I'm yeah, gonna... perfect um, mini fight. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> See, all it took is for us to to talk about. Dude, I would have gotten a three thirty five if I got this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so bad. Yeah. I, no, no, no. I yeah, beat Hulk in one fight. Oh, you're probably gonna beat me on Dialga too, because this, this. Oh yeah, your Dialga was amazing. Pokemon Haunter yeah. missed hypnosis. Like if I got a perfect Benny and I didn't struggle on Dialga, I'd have a 335. That's what I'm gonna be saying in the asylum, just with a straight jacket on. I would have got a 335. But that's fine. I don't think anyone's beaten my time. That but, was in fact a gold split. Yeah, and that's probably the best split you'll ever get. Because like I don't, there, there's no more to cut off that. It was a gold like, split because I didn't get the your item inventory is full. Do you normally get that? Yeah. Well, uh, so why did you fight me even for a fraction of a second on deposit? Because I <laughs> needed you to just explain. Because I'm a guy who likes to say why, and you explained, and then I said that makes sense. Thank you for explaining the why. And now I will always do that from now on. That's valid, actually. See, it makes sense. Yeah. Don't just blindly follow. I think I just, I think I might have just been projecting because I feel like I've gotten <coughs> on that from other people. I'm like, it makes sense. And they're like, no. Like, I think Shady has specifically told me no. And maybe Blood Dirk as well. And I'm, I, I, I may just be I'm just, all, yeah, like, I just want to know why. And if you show your work and and it is it is in fact faster, then I just say, well, cool. I don't know if it's faster. Now I understand it. But it's a good practice because like like you said like if your bag is full you'll get these extra text boxes and that's bad but there's a chance that your bag is not that full and in which case you know whatever but like if you always do it your bag will always be in a state where it can avoid these text boxes and it helps with the dialga fight and, just yeah anyway. and you're you're saving some of that time back on the dialga fight specifically yeah because like every everyone else has to do x and then look for the ultra balls but i can just do which X is for me is always there. left it is always left one so this is the commodo fight it doesn't really matter benny was the final boss this, yeah this this is a there is still variability but it's more consistent that like the worst, the, the, rails. the worst thing that can ever rails. The worst thing that could ever happen is, is this, it, it, this is missing this. high horsepower. <laughs> oh, which it like, did not. Like it's so weird, I guess, for regular Pokemon speedrunners, like for the traditional games. Like for me to say, God, if the enemy misses this move, that's really bad. Like, because like they're just yeah, no, they're we, working we under we a different battle there. system. <laughs> yeah, because we need to pull Sneasel out on in, with advantage. Like, like momentum's real. Like in this game, like you know, you know, tempo is real in in Arceus. It's it's fictional in 
uh, VGC and speedruns of regular traditional Tem Pokemon games. Like Tempo is real in TCG. That's how we like describe like pace of play, like decks that are aggro versus like more mid pace or comeback. We use the term tempo. Right, tempo is real. Stance. Yeah. So I golded this by a significant amount recently, and I can't remember what happened. I think, uh, I think what happened was Clefable did Baby Doll Eyes on my Sneasel, and I just went for Strong Poison Jab, and it, uh, you know, it died. And then Golem went for Stealth Rock, and I went for Strong Close Combat. So I, so I guess that's the fastest fight possible. I don't know. Cool. Well, I had a good, good fight too. Like, I thought my gold was like, I don't know. I don't know what the fastest fight in this fight is. <laughs> I feel like I've I've got I've golded like under three different fight patterns, and I, I don't um, know I'm all blurry. This is not going to be a gold for me, not barely, like by a second. Yeah, that's like menuing time. I've had a fight where the yeah the Clefable baby doll eyes, and then you just. Instead of you dying, you just reset up the sword stance on oh, that. No, I, didn't do that. I, I just did strong and poison the golem down. also did stealth rock. So that one sneasel just like went through the rest of the game. So I've definitely had the first sneasel finish the fight, but recently uh, fifty-seven sneasel here is fine, I guess. They're both fifty-seven. <clears throat> so you didn't really have a choice. Okay. Uh, will you yolo ball for the fans? No. <laughs> nah. It's only nah. 19%. I know it's only 19%. Will you coin flip for the fans? Mm, I mean, if I miss hypnosis, I probably will. <laughs> I mean, at that point. Oh, I love that Hangman is a Z item because it's a something something Z. I was thinking like extra Y, like the Mega Stones. Ooh, that could be that too. But it's too. All right, didn't so. didn't crit the Dialga? Hooray! I did that in one of my runs, and it was very silly. Oh yeah, my PB crits the Dialga. That's, That's right. That's funny. Really? My yeah, my PB loses a minute and 40 to Dialga. Dude, you know how awful it is to be me? I am so ungodly overdue for the crit on Dialga. So much. Like, so every my, run I get yeah, here, I know it's gonna happen. My 347 uh, crits the Dialga, and then, and then I go back into the fight, it outspeeds me because it rolls max speed. I would have sent out the other speed to make sure you don't get outspeed. I think you were right, but I got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just for reference. Um, oh. Yeah, so I, I split at Commodo at plus 517. I'm coming out in plus 355 to PB. I know so yeah, closer to a minute and a half is what I lose. I don't know what that is, <clears throat> but I got it. <laughs> Good I have, job. I have literally no oh, idea what a, that is. That's a let's go item. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. That's a if let's you want, go. If you want me to be stumped game. on it, make it let's go. Oh, to, good hangman's hang chat. We're proud of you. If you want me to be stumped on it, make it let's go. If you want the rest, of the, the rest of the chat to be stumped on it, make it Arceus. <laughs> Listen, Chef, if you want to win Hangman, you just got to get a run into PSRM or be on commentary. <laughs> yeah, no, the, uh, this is actually really good. I've uh, I've actually brought this into a 351 now with my end game. My end game's been pretty good. Yeah, a 351 is a good time for well adjusted people. That don't play this game excessively. I had a week to practice. <laughs> and this is like, this is really good.
Yeah, I, I, so I was, uh, I was in Duluth for a wedding. Um, gosh, it would have been not like, not like yesterday weekend, but the weekend before. So like nine days ago, I was in Duluth for a wedding, got back and I was like, I got a week to play Arceus <laughs> at a level that will be marathon quality. And my second mm -hmm. run back, I get a 347 and I was 19 seconds off. Of if it makes you feel better, I think to this day, my fastest marathon run of Arceus is still the PSR marathon I did. Which is like a 346, just because I don't know, things just... I haven't run it much since at marathons. Like, I ran... I think the last time I ran it at a marathon was RPG Limit Break, and I got a... I got like a 353, because I forgot Gastrodon in Alabaster, somehow. Oh, huh. I get to the yeah. fight, and I'm sitting there explaining how good Gastrodon is, and all of a sudden a Toxicrug pops out. Um, I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. Um... And then I had to do the Palkia nonsense, so I think I got a 353 there. I got a 348 at pace and Midwest Speed Fest, and I got a 346 for this marathon. I, I mean, there's something to be said about, like, like I said, I like to finish runs, and that kind of feels like the pace to finish a run if you need to finish a run today. So, I mean, I have to, I have to like, mentally prepare myself to, like, be like, some days I just won't get a run. Yeah, but it's like, okay to have the faster run. I have I was gonna say, was that Alpha? Because he looked kind of yes. big. Yes, it was. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh my god, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, we oh, were yeah. doing so, mar uh, yeah, marathon when I did, quality runs. When I did uh, the Quinfecta and the Quadfecta, whatever. Um, the first time I did it, I got a 347 RCS, and that was like a bit below my standards, and I'm like, I was mm. just falling asleep at the wheel at that point. And the next time I did it, like, I don't know what I did, but, like, I just tried to pay more attention. I got a 342, and I was way happier with that. The, for In a Quinfecta, like, I'll take it. Yeah. You know, if I didn't lose 10 minutes to BDSP, I would have gotten a sub-20. sub, sub -20. Dude, I hated that I did Quinfecta, and BDSP was by far my best quality run of the five. Oh, dude, if I, if BDP, BDSP is my best quality, I may get a 20, a 19 4X, like, legitimately. I got... I got a 322 or like, yeah, I think it was 322 or like 321. Like just with safety saves, but like everything went perfectly. And I was like, holy crap, this was like excellent. And then the rest was just kind of like, meh. Yeah, my sum of PB is, is 193301. So like if I didn't get owned in BDSP, like I could very easily get a yeah, like a 304 in Let's Go and that I was just kind of like, eh. Well, the problem is that's that's taking into account my PB from Scarlet and Violet uh pre 3.0 cuz 3.0 is garbage. I wish I wish I could play Scarlet and Violet at at the moment where it was like actually good that's why i'm trying to do um that's a that's a nice double shadow ball because now i don't get cringed on with hypnosis nonsense yeah because like i don't know my best time so far with 3.0 is like 526 in scar like it's really bad and my pb is a 519 from before 3.0 and that's that's part of the reason why i want to do indigo disc because there is no like previous comparison the game was faster prior to the update because uh yeah that didn't exist prior to the update so. i mean i think this is the only other... evil footing i can find for scarlet violet right now well uh, you say that but i think every other category has seen a new seen a new world record on 3.0 literally every other category except for any percent and maybe teal mask i don't know i don't run that yeah. But I know uh, yeah. No. Teal, the teal mask run is <laughs> cracked. It's like a 140. It's really good. I think Zypotic has it, and it's it's actually like unbelievable how fast oh, really? it is. Yeah. So maybe I, re I remember getting my 143 and being like, "Oh, this is solid." Like, what's record? 142 low, and I look, and it was like a 140 high, and I was like, "Whoa." <laughs> Oh my god, I don't have three minutes of time to save. Yeah. I, don't know, I think any percent definitely gets the most punished by the new updates. Just because it's the oh, category yeah. where we get to play the game for the longest. Okay, I did like... not deserve the slow crouch cancel. That's why you do crouchless cancels on people that you talk to. You that I will get... have to learn. Yeah. That is 1,000% yeah. skill-based, a crouch Yeah, I, I will have to learn that. 
So when you say crouchless cancel, it's like what you do with the first uh, crafting table? Kind of. Do you, um, you don't walk up to it crouch and then uncrouch, do you? Like, you crouch and then I uncrouch. Do. No, no, no. So what I do, like, basically a crouchless cancel is you're fully in your dash and you let go of the stick and you reinitiate your dash and in the first couple of frames of your dash, of your new dash starting, it can be canceled into standing completely still. So, you basically, you let go of the stick and then repress it immediately, and then right after you repress it, you press A, so that you cancel the startup frames of your new dash into a st complete standstill. My, my brain just did the math meme. <laughs> <laughs> the, I I promise your explanation was probably great, but I also promise that like <laughs> I can't even begin to visualize that. <laughs> Steiner math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, what the I'm good saying news is that you have a thirty-three and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. Is what I'm trying to say. And Kurt Angle knows good... he can't he can't beat me. All right. The good news chat is that we are almost done with the run. And it's going to be hype. And I want everybody to be hyped for the final fight of the game. The bad news is that the marathon is almost over and it makes me sad. But that's why we all need to get super hyped when we see Palkia and we hear that music. So let's finish off this marathon strong. That when we get to Palkia, I want chat to just be spammed with dance emotes and hype emotes and rave emotes. Whatever you got. Like, I like, like Dino Dance. Let's... If you wanna, if you wanna take my recommendation, I like Dino Dance the best. It's the best dancing mode on Twitch. Yeah, I uh, also Bounce like is good too. Dino Dance. So just prepare yourself. You got a little bit of time. You got probably like a minute just to. Uh, you're, it's in your way. He always is. Yeah, Hawker Bounce is a close second. So just realize the rave is coming. And I think it would be amazing if we could finish off the marathon with a whole bunch of hype. Because we have had a lot of amazing runs. I've been watching just most of the time, mostly lurking, but it's been so fun to see. So many great runners, so many great uh, just games in different categories. Common stuff and uncommon stuff, silly stuff. It's been super fun. I've been really proud and honored to be a part of this marathon, so let's finish it off strong for everybody who did take part in PSRM 24. Oh my god, I just realized I can get a 19 2x sum of PVs if I just save two minutes and let's go, and like uh, another two minutes in <laughs> Sword and Shield. And that that's too that's too tempting. I can't look at that anymore. I'm gonna close that tab. <clears throat> uh, I you would be proud of me how the last time I did run this game, I did do the damage boost thingy. Nice. Because uh, uh, Albi was in chat and I watched a little of the the IL. All right, get hype! Let's go! Woo! Well, I don't know you walked so far away from it, but you got it. Like, the, the amount it knocks you back after you touch oh, it. Oh, that's how that is. I've never gotten it going anymore about that. Um, Woo! And that I is can... time! Yeah! That was, that was a gold split to finish! Let's go! Yeah, that was like a, like, like, realistically perfect, uh, Palkia. Yeah. That was sick. I, the only I thing I would that. say as a as a criticism is I don't know why you're walking away from the things after you damage boost off them. Like oh, the amount it yeah. knocks you back is perfectly fine. Oh, like, because okay. that made it harder for you to get to it whenever you needed to damage boost again. I did go by three seconds though. I mean, that. it didn't cost you any time because you still made it to damage boost again every time, so it worked out. Yeah, that was really good. Good job. That was awesome.
And hooray! The weather is back! Because, fun fact, during the RBG Sky, uh, there can be no weather, and that makes me sad. So, we got the weather back in the game! Eat now, make sure to put is. all of your fog in Halkyrie's game. He'll really enjoy that. No! <laughs> that was awesome. This was actually, like, this was a really, really solid run. I should give myself plenty of credit for getting a 351. Uh, it was just, just really, really solid. Yeah, after like a week of DRS, after probably playing nothing but Let's Go for a few months, like, that that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of and, like, Scarlet there was some thing, like <laughs> There's some things that are new here that you've never done. Like, you've probably never skipped Pachirisu before. I've never skipped, skipped Pachirisu before. That is, in fact, true. And I got the uh, scatterbangs for the Krogunk. And, uh, yeah, just a bunch of random stuff. But, yeah, that was Legends Arceus, any percent. Just, again, like, super unique for a game, especially, like, a Pokemon game um, that is just, like, high... It's, like, a high skill level of entry, but, like, an almost limitless skill ceiling. So, like, anybody can do it. You just got to put in some work. And it's, like, super rewarding to play. And, and like, you see, you get, you get to end with that, like, theme and get, like, super hyped. So, thanks, chat, for being super hyped. Uh, thanks again for having me, uh, especially for the finale. Hopefully this was a wonderful weekend of Pokemon runs. Uh, big thanks to Halk for commentating with me. It is always a pleasure, my friend. Yeah, like, I don't want to dismiss the run here, but, like, just to kind of piggyback off your point of it being, like, a, you know, a massive skill ceiling, um, I don't think I'm perfect. Like, I still make plenty of mistakes, but... This run that you saw with that probably impressed you like immensely just because of how skilled T Pad is at the game. It's 15 minutes off the record. Like yeah. the, the, <laughs> yeah, the, the heights you can reach in this game if you just sacrifice your mental health are crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, if you're willing to hear into that. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn more about the game, you know, definitely stop by my stream. I, I, I play this game a lot, uh, a lot more than I should. And I know yeah. most, most, if not everything about it. So. And anybody that is here to just like hang out with the marathon, make sure to join um, the PSR Discord servers. Uh, obviously, you'll find a lot of information on the Switch Discord server um, as all the games are broken up by their console. Uh, and for me specifically, you'll find me basically living in the Switch Discord because I do the five Pokemon games. Uh, just the Let's Go, Sword Shield, BDSP, Legends Arceus, Scarlet Violet. I've run them all. Um, and I'm super knowledgeable at them all and really proud about that. And uh, if you do follow uh, me on my stream, you'll see me doing lots of cool stuff. My next project is learning Indigo Disc in Scarlet Violet. So a nice long category, but uh, yeah, it's just always kind of on to the next one. So when it comes to playing the game, I sure hope I get to play a lot of the game. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all for me. Halk, anything from you? Um, yeah, I mean, if you submit it next year, I'll, I'll come back and help you through it again, for sure. Uh, that or erase, and then you can show everybody what a real gamer looks like. I, except no, you I, except I, you have to help me on the math while you're doing your own game, so you have to do <laughs> math twice. That's I would the, not. I would that's going to be your handicap. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all for me. Thanks again uh, to everybody that was uh, part of the marathon. Thanks to everybody for organizing this putting this together especially big big thank you for everybody doing tech because it makes a huge difference for uh everybody to see some great quality streams uh always fun to be a part of this and to be a part of this community um so yeah thank you all so much uh yeah that's it for the marathon uh so make sure to stay hyped and just support us real like, at the quick, end of the day it's not over yet we have support no, us Sorry. Oh, tech is talking to me. Say again. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm still on the live stream. Uh, we have an outro coming in a few minutes, so stick around just for a few more minutes. Okay. Yeah, stick around, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>